Hello, everyone. So, before I start, I'll give you a quick rundown to anyone who doesn't know what this is and has been living in under a rock. Today's update, yeah, yeah, new patch, newest patch. So, back in 2013, little history lesson for you, a little mod was released called GTA 3 Toughened. And that mod was all the mandatory missions for GTA 3 but modded to be made significantly more difficult. Fast forward to 2022, and a little young sailor called Dinosaur Bites, who's in the chat room, made Titan Vice, which is inspired by GTA 3 Toughened. Yeah, back in 2013 when I was four years old. Yeah, that's when Toughened came out. Titan Vice comes out nine years later, inspired by Toughened, but it was made by a different person, but it was the same concept. All the missions were harder, but this time it included like 100% worth of content. So like all the packages were moved, all of the side missions and stuff were all changed, new outfits, new whatever else, uh, different scripts and things like that. And now in 2023, there is now Titan Thrice made by the same person who made Titan Vice, but for GTA 3. And because GTA 3 is already 10 times harder already, it's probably going to be way more difficult, and I'm very excited for it. Because I, as the world record holder for toughened speedrunning, I'm the best GTA 3 player on the planet, and it's not even close. Lives here as well, by the way. You can barely see her, but... Also, there's modified radio, but last time it got copyrighted, even though it was supposed to be copyrighted free. Because, you know, the way copyright is, can't really... There's no such thing as copyright free these days. So we're just not using music. That's the plan. Right, I say we get into it. Let's do it. And here is where our story begins. All right, so when I was testing this, fun fact, uh, a cop car spawned right here. I don't know if that was a bug or what. Oh, there it is. Kind of. Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> my game crashed. Yeah, I mean, that was extreme memes. I would say that's pretty good, yeah. My game, wow, my game creeps. The second I press F to get in the vehicle, my game crashes. All right, never mind. This might be Rob's fault. So everything's fine. Press F. Huh? Huh? Hey, third time's the charm. Let's go. So there's two markers. I need to be very vigilant. A Mr. Wong's van should have a change of clothes. Track one down and take it to the hideout. Okay. So we need to get a new vehicle with two stars, which is kind of uh, let's go and get a bribe, so they're not as well. That's the meme, everything works the third time. True, true. Yeah, just crashed the game twice. Uh, okay. There's not a bribe star. Oh, there is a bribe star, but I can't get it. I'm gonna have to go back again. Ah, brilliant. Those cars just all parked right in front of me the second I went for the... Yeah, so the mod auto-saves after every mission. So if we do crash, we shouldn't lose too much progress, I feel. Ugh. Yeah, easy. Let me know how the game sounds, by the way, if it's too quiet, too loud, whatever. Hello, gents. Get back in the vehicle. No, I need to get in this vehicle. I have to also note, um... The traffic has been changed, and there's also a couple of uh, Clio mods and stuff. All right. Uh, no marker, but we can go there. Does this work? Yeah, it does. Luigi's girl. How hard can it be? Am I right, guys? Uh oh, looks like those triads hold a grudge. Grab Misty and get out of there. Uh, that was that was unlucky. Well, uh, we'll try that one again. I fucking bounced off the triad, and it was also raining, so I hit the brakes, but I couldn't stop, and I just uh, that might have looked like I just intentionally fucking clobbered her, but I didn't. I promise. Oh yeah, they also added um yeah, they also added pop tires into GTA 3, which is fucking disgusting. Yeah, that's like the most egregious change. Let's kill this guy first. He has an Uzi. Oh, 
shit. I didn't expect it to be right fucking there. This is over. We can't even pass the first mission. All right. Misty, where are you? See, now she's not running at me. Hi, Misty. What? I just want to get the guns, because you never know when you're going to need, like, early guns. Really? Assuming this is the end of the mission. Yeah. Uh, I need to just go on my mouse software and change... Because I have my Vice City binds right now on, so... Core Speed is finally living up to his name. I didn't see what that said. Oh, yeah, so now you can sprint infinitely and with any weapon. Okay, cool. Yeah, I passed it third time for the- yeah, 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 I- that was all intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash three times, Titan thrice, GTA three, third time's the charm to beat the mission. Pick up the bat. Or you can sprint with the bat and it looks really weird. So I do have a gun for this if needed. The triads are already on to me. Hello. Oh god, d d wait, is this the guy with a shotgun? He has, yeah, he does. He has a shotgun. Well, now I have a shotgun. Hello, lady. Guy decided to bring a gun to a bat fight, which was his biggest mistake. Stallion is Giga. Stallion, Diablo Stallion has always been Giga. Like, this car is mad fast. Drive carefully, though. His girl is watching. Okay. I guess I can't crash? Or do I have to, like, go slow? Don't fucking crash here. Good. Easy mission. Never any doubt. Uh, let's go and see if we can get a police car for more shotgun. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> look at Claude. What a boy. Alright. Gorillas in the Misty. Oh, look at Claude. All spruced up. I wonder if I'll fail for using a cop car. Of course. You're a cop? Question mark? Space? Exclamation mark? Exclamation mark? That's some, that's some GTA 3 spelling right there. Yeah, I've never seen this car before. What is this? It's like a sedan. A Brigham. Oh my god, it's real old driver. Thing. Jesus, this thing is spinning. Whew. Misty's gonna have a real fucking bad time. Yeah. There's a tank. I can see it. It's Misty's Xyz, Line Hater, and Eyed God. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh god. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> fuck. Oh lovely. Claude looks great. Wasted, wasted opportunity outfit. Yeah. Gotta respect the OGs, yeah. Okay, how do I deal with that? God. Because, yeah, they spawn on both sides, and they come for you, like, the second you you go. I feel like I might need, like, a better car. A faster car. Well, well. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can be doing this to deal with traffic. I always forget about that. Alright, let's try this again. Now the question is... Is... Wait, which way do I go? Do I go left or right? Does it even matter? Forward? Yeah, I guess. Like 
because the right one comes in instantly. I don't know if the left one does. The left one, like, blocks the thing, though. Ooh! Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take the... Let's take the scenic route. That thing is fast! Oh my god. That thing is so quick. Because it's shooting as well, I think. I'm scared it's going to like spawn out of nowhere and fucking one hit me again. Am I good? I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Unless there's like one sat here waiting for me. Easy. Third try again. Uh, also, by the way, um, probably goes without saying, but this will be all missions. I'll be doing all the missions. So I'll be sure to not mock myself out of any. Right, we'll come back between 5 and 21. Uh, we can go and do Luigi's mission. Too. Pump action pimps. Do I have a gun? I do. I have a shotgun. I'll go and grab the other gun from ammunition because it's free, so why not? I don't remember what I got, like a pistol? Yeah. Probably not gonna help me too much to be honest. They're zooming. Alright, let's. All your guns. Fucking cop cars. Oh, it's, 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 didn't realize there was a cop there. Uh, cool, easy. Fuzzball. No changes besides the van. There was more people in there. There's usually only two. Deliver all the way to the girls to the fuzzball. Okay, I should definitely get a better car for this. Thing. Because the Banshee is not fast enough to make it worth using only two doors. Keep an eye out for the Diablo's rival pimps. Okay. Uh, let's go and get a popcorn now. Uh, let's grab these two as well that are kind of no blind. I've already used a quarter of my time. So, no, I didn't get the right car. Fucking hell. I might not make this purely because I had to go and get a new car. But this seems pretty doable. Yeah, and they're in like really awkward positions. Fuck. Yeah, like I've got them all, but I'm like, wow. GG. Sorry. We'll get a new cop car and we'll just try again. Too slow. <laughs> Whoops. I uh, I forgot that was still a bug. My bad. To anyone who doesn't know, I just mega jumped by mistake in that cutscene. If you hold W and sprint at like a specific timing in the Luigi's cutscenes, you mega jump and die. Not all cutscenes. <coughs> How's thrice? I um, mean, it's pretty good so far. There hasn't really been anything particularly difficult, but I've only just started, so, you know, makes sense, right? <coughs> I'm not expecting there to be huge difficult sections in the first couple of missions, because, you know, why would there be? It's only going to get harder. So many fucking guys with guns. Go away. Off-road waiting room. I've heard uh, there's a dodo checkpoint challenge, which sounds like a lot of fun. Right, can't get over that. 
All right, two minutes to get these last two instead of, what, 45 seconds I had last time? Much more doable, I think. The big change is that the Diablos attack you. That plus the fact that you have to collect all of the girls. Usually you only have to collect, what, four out of eight? And any extras that you do, you just get money for doing it. But in this, it's mandatory to get all eight. And yeah, you also get attacked. So, two changes. I think you might also have less time, but I'm not sure on that. Easy. Less time as well? Okay, yeah. No match for me though, because I'm a fucking beast. Oh, getting out auto-saved, which then makes it... Which makes it the correct time. In a more Two and a half minutes for this. Got a good look. Uh, not of here, yeah, this is so normal. What are my personal rules? I mean, I'm just gonna be playing it like a casual playthrough. I'm not gonna be using like speedrun strats. Like, I haven't exactly got like a huge written list of rules or anything. I'm just gonna be playing the game and having fun with it. That's my plan. What the fuck? What dickhead parked in my spot? I had to park better. <sighs> To late, then run. Easy. I activated the bomb. What? Like, did I do something wrong there, or what? I, I literally t did what the game told me to do. All right, time to do this uh, very boring drive again. Bomb armed. Get out of there. There we go. I did the exact same thing. I must have just like walked like a pixel out or something. Did any change with the van being parked there? No, you also had a significantly reduced time limit as well. Send nudes. Nice. Do I have a shotgun? I have a shotgun. Looks like Chunky is out making deliveries. Okay. Yo, he's zooming. Oh, he's in a fucking hot ring racer. Oh my god, he is so fast. Fucking hell. Oh my god, he's flipping his- Oh! <laughs> he survived! I popped his tires, that might help. He flipped and survived, he was driving so fast, holy shit. I popped a tire though, that's good. I think that should like, either slow him down or yeah, make him spin out a bit. I got both of his back tires, that's really good. Because, yeah, he's just going to be flinging about now. Wow. Okay, well, that's five shotgun blasts and he's still alive. Look at this absolute legend. Yo? Oh, it's over for him. It's fucking locked. Um, How do I get him out? <laughs> it's locked and I haven't got to go. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Wait, if you ram into him, you fucking instantly blow your car up? Or was that just coincidence? Give me this so I can get another five shot in shot. Oh my god, someone else blew it. Alright, we've got five more shotgun shots. 
This guy's driving so slow. Why? He's like stuck in the floor or something. Oh my god! He's just like mega heavy or something. There we go. Let's see you on the bridge, mate. Alright, easy. Hooker from Toughened. Oh, someone got out, I think. A cop got out with an AK. The van doesn't move. Yoink, that's my AK now. Is the van intended to just not move? Fuck off in two seconds. She was there, but you ran her over. Wait, what? So she she wasn't at the at the place where I thought she was gonna be. She wasn't behind the thing. girl spawns and immediately runs to enter your car. I, I didn't even notice. I was waiting for her to be behind the thing. So easy. Alright, let's go and do... Is it time to do this yet? Yeah. The crooks. Still failed this mission after delivering the van. How did you do it after delivering the van? Isn't that the end of the mission? Or did you fail for doing it without losing the cops? Go and meet the bank. Exactly, okay. That, that's an easy mistake to make, to be fair. I'm deliberately being like extra vigilant on the text. <coughs> because, um... I think that's just a spawn, actually. Looks like the manager is caught up in a bank robbery. Better rescue him before Marty turns you into dog food. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm deliberately, like, reading the text really vigilantly because if I'm not observant, then I will fail quite a few missions like I did in Titan Vice. Like, I failed just because I didn't fucking read. He's only going to open the factory gates. Oh, okay. Is that the bank manager? Yeah. Wait, so where did the other guys go? Oh, they're still in the car. Wait, now they're all in the car. How do I get the bank manager out? Can you get out of the car? Now he's in there. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait, oh, there, there we go. I was going to go and throw him out. There we go, easy. Let's take it to the crusher. I'm gonna stand on here just in case someone tries to like run me over or something. Oh, there's armor up there. Can I even get up there? Hitbox is huge. Ew. Yeah, not quite. Ugh. 
Yeah. I've moaned enough, I think. I've got to get an ice cream van and race with it? Prepare for a real challenge. Okay. You really expect me to win with a fucking ice cream van? Okay. What the fuck is that? Can you fuck off, man? What are you starting the fucking race? Ah, right. I'm dead before I even start the fucking race. Okay, I uh, guess I'm just gonna get in because otherwise I'm dead. Yeah, some weird modified thing. And then two cheaters. Wait, I have pop tires as well. A am I intended to have pop tires or did I pop them by mistake? Oh my fucking god. Because if I'm not intended to have pop tires, then this is impossible. I did it myself. Okay, then I need to restart because, yeah. This is not doable. I'm locked inside my vehicle. Okay. The challenge wasn't enough for Ben, so he popped his own tires. Yeah, I'm just fucking based. What can I say? Oh, also! Reserved for English Ben. Look at that. Because of my uh, eight locked ambulances in a row. I forgot I have an Easter egg in this. Reserved for English Ben. There you go. I'm so famous. I completely forgot that was in this. All right. Let's try a, uh, an actual attempt. No, it's me dropping frames. Literally just got my internet upgraded and then start dropping frames. Fucking typical. This is going to be pretty hard, I think, because these guys are just leaving me in the dust. I turn the jingle off. Somehow the two cheaters are third and fourth place, which is impressive. And it starts to rain. Oh, I'm first! Never mind, it's easy. Never mind, it's over. Are we going this way? Which fucking way are we going? This guy's flipped! No, it's not huge because the cheaters are going to overtake me. Oh, they come back again. Oh, I could have just stayed on. I didn't need to turn. Okay, it would be faster to not turn here. Because turning slows me down so much. Are they turning? No. It's turn here. But yeah, the more I stay at max speed, the better. Because it takes me so long to get back up to max speed. So I need to just like cut as many corners as I can. fucking drift around the corner and do some big skiddies. It's fine now. Yeah. I really hope that it's not a consistent thing, but I was dropping frames yesterday as well. It's fucking hard. Bro, I'm leaving these fucking guys in the dust. Never mind, I'm getting fucking shot in a minute. Oh, hills are my, uh, my absolute nemesis in a, in a truck like this. Never mind, I'm pogging. Can't even see them. Where's the competition? the 3k bit right again. Awesome. <clears throat> I might try uh, changing like Twitch servers just in case it is a Twitch thing and not a me thing. 
But I'm starting to think it's a me thing. Maybe I'm the problem. Real challenge, by the way. Oh, what a fucking boring mission that was. Just drive from point A to point B in an ice cream mission. I think that mission's bugged, actually. It's way too easy. Find an ice cream van? Go on. Okay. Less shifts. When holding a detonator, detonate the bomb. Uh, there's guys with shotguns there. If the thing doesn't work, you might need to get in and reinitialize. Oh, fuck. Oh, gun! I need a gun! I'm dead. Ah! I was on 1 HP! And then I just dropped dead. I lost to a rounding error. That's so unfair. I got this one. Oh, they spawn here. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's. Oh. Oh, dickhead. oh, you just killed him. Okay. I thought these were separate to the people who are coming here, but. No. Good to know. Oh no, the whole world was watching. Oh no, oh no. I just bought all those guns. Fuck. Oh no. All right, luckily Liv wasn't here, so she won't fucking break up with me over that. I'm clipping it. Don't you fucking dare clip that. I will ban you from the stream. You have, darling, nothing. Nothing is what happened. No, you know, I'm doing the bond. <laughs> I'm doing the bond. Someone, anyone, an editor on my channel? Delete the bond. Delete the fucking bond. We're removing that in post. Oh, that was unlucky. This isn't an interesting place. Oh, it's up. Oh, the fuck? How do I get up there? Bro, does anyone know how to get up there? I can see something through the wall there. I'm getting... Hello? There's a package, I think. Bro, how do I get up here? Help me! I'm getting shot up. Why does so many fucking triads go away? Look how many triads there are. What the fuck? Like, you'd, you'd think I'm on a rampage or something. What am I supposed to do there? But now there's no guys there. No, there is guys. Look how many guys are spawning. Look at them. Look at the fuck. Like, there's nothing here. Uh, the mod's going fine. I'm making decent progress, I think. Oh! What the fuck? This isn't in the original, is it? This is definitely not in the original. 
Oh, I guess there's so many things because of the fucking triads, right? Like, I've got to kill them. Hey, buddy. He's got Molotovs! I even tried to kill him, like, straight away. I'm dead! Well, at least we know how to- We've made progress. We know how to get up there, at least. Yeah, this guy doesn't spawn until... Yeah. Go away. He's dead, but he doesn't count even though he's a triad. Oh god. Hello. He's not shooting at me <laughs> for some reason. Ah! I'm dead again. How am I already dead? How are these guys not dying? They're fireproof? Or what? Like, I set them all on fire. What the fuck? So I'm concerned because these guys are just not counting. Try and figure this out. People have not been able to see. This guy is completely fireproof. What? So I've got to kill triads, but triads are fireproof. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm. I'm not convinced this is like intended. Yeah, they're not supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it because, like, it... Considering I've, I've already encountered so many bugs, it makes me think that it's surely not intended. Whereas usually I'd be like, oh, like, maybe it's the guys inside, and I've got to fight inside and then get outside, but... Yeah, I can't switch weapons, because it's like, a, it's, this is a rampage, basically. Yeah, I can't switch. Fucked. There's nothing I can do. Apart from just try and jump for it. Right, back to these guys. No. Nothing I can do. <clears throat> do a fireproof for me about four to five attempts in a row. So it's random? Do I just have to keep trying until. until the. Uh, they're magically available to, to damage. Ooh, that'll be fun. It's weird, because this guy always dies. That guy always dies every single time. Just the rest of them. So. I'm trying to think of like, the best way to handle this situation as well. Because they're all like grouping below me. Is there any way to like park all like over the boxes? Oh, well, I press jump. Uh! Really? Fuck you, Clark. Yeah? Get out! Okay, now we're now we're in business. We just got half the time to do it. Now they're fireproof again. Awesome. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just fucked. Alright, now all we've got to do is do that again, but get lucky. Run them over. Mm, yes, run them over in the mission that says you have to kill them with the flamethrower to progress. I'll just run them over and fail the mission. What a great suggestion. So if this happens, just die. Oh well, you killed her. No, I should die anyway. Then. If that first guy doesn't die to my fire, just reset. One more try. Nope. Cool. All right. Uh, we'll come back and do this once it's fixed. Please, yeah. It's impossible. It's completely bugged. Like, that was, what, seven times in a row? And the mission didn't work properly once, so. Uh, let's go and do... Uh, we can't do a bitch in dog food yet, so we'll go and do, uh, Kipriani's chauffeur. 
I don't remember what time bitching dog food starts, but it's like. Yeah, no pony. I pulled her real sweet. She purrs, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like daytime. Oh, is the guy with. Maybe okay, resetting kid, the game fixes it. It's not worth my time to try and debug it. Like, take care of. I've Those got stuff to do. Got, got missions to be. And watch the car. Wait here. here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. The next attempt would have worked. <laughs> Keep gambling. Getting up all in my face, dragon breath. Wanna talk about it? And they fucking fuck my time. Tony's been shot up pretty bad. Take him to the mod dock to just start. Take keys. Alright, what a pop tire. Just off of Atlantic Keys, which is here, no? Ah, oh, fuck off, game. Flat tire makes me spin out and I hit the fence and bounce back. Where is that fucking guy? Oh no. No way! <laughs> Am I going fast enough? No, I'm not. Fuck. That's such a hard jump. Oh my god. I got the stunt bonus. <laughs> That's such a hard jump with a pop tire as well. Are you serious? You want me to do that with a fucking pop tire? Not even, it wasn't even close, yeah. Like those jumps where like, you know, too much speed and you hit the ocean, too little and you hit the ocean, are already hard enough as it is. But to do it with pop tires, fuck me. What a, what a mission this is gonna be. I mean, you guys remember Vi uh, Titan Vice's VIP, right? And how many tries that took me? Cause it's just the same thing, you know? Like, you've got to, like, perfectly judge the, uh... Perfectly judge the thing. Yo, check this, I got a big brain idea. This is 100% cheating, by the way. I'm just gonna go up this fella. Uh, right, I can't go this guy following me. Fuck off. No, don't go in that side. Wait, this isn't gonna work, I don't think. My plan was to glitch a car and put it like here. So then they won't shoot me, but it'll also block Tony. Maybe like this. So Tony can Tony can still get in the door. <laughs> it's 100 percent cheating, because it's like abusing bugs, but. Let's see if it works. Soft lock incoming? Yeah, maybe. It's worth trying though for the, for the bouncer. But there's a good chance Tony will just get stuck. Wait here. Keep the yeah, I don't think he's running. gonna make it in. This ain't a social call. Surely he'll just tell it. I don't know. Oh, oh. Easy. Oh, it didn't work though. He's still gonna shoot my tires. Yeah, fuck. Well, <laughs> I, I even tried to use a bug to stop my tire being popped, and it still fucking popped it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that doesn't work because if Tony can get in, then the other guy can get out, and he's the one that shoots me. So, and I, I feel like it might be scripted because it's always the back left tire, and he always shoots it at the same time. Just delete the tire popping Cleo script, true. Oh fuck, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so hard to drive forward with one pop tire because you're just going like this constantly. So hitting a ramp like straight on is so difficult. 
the car still there. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Try it facing a normal way. It shouldn't matter. What game am I planning after this? No idea. Haven't thought that far. It is random. Okay, well that's kind of silly. Because it makes this this part like 10 times harder and it's random whether it gets popped or not. It's pretty annoying. Well, at least it saves me a pain spray. Alright, you've got to hit this shit fast. Because I have haven't even been close to making it the other times. <laughs> hey, just a Jedi. What's up? Are we good? Oh my god. Oh! Okay, thank god for those trees. I'm, s I'm bouncing around. Nice. The triads think they can mess with me. Yeah, let's go. The triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them That's a sick wander. mission, by the way, Rob. That's fucking awesome. Do I have to come back here every time for Tony's now, or what? Uh, how do I get off here? Oh, there's a boat. Now I can buy the Uzi. Uh, there's a boat, but I can't get in it. Oh, I can. I just couldn't teleport into it for some reason. Cool. Alright, Claude, for enough. All right, we'll continue with uh, Joey's missions. All right, this is a weird location. Throws a tamper with the car, the steering's fucked and it weighs a ton. Get it to the crusher. Oh boy. Uh, I might be better off killing these guys in that case. Because, yeah. All right, all right, all right, relax. Yeah, I will get back in the vehicle. Give me two seconds. All right, for Uh We need to kill those guys, because otherwise they're just going to push me around and I'm not going to be able to get anywhere. Push the car before entering? Yeah, maybe. Can we kill these guys with forehand as well? Ooh. Uh oh, Joey will be happy about the dead Frellies, but the cops aren't. Easy. Ooh. Oh, it's there. I can see it. Suckers. <laughs> oh my god, the handling though, with this with three stars, this is gonna be just as bad, to be honest. Oh god. Awful handling, rain, and three stars, this is gonna be questionable. Every time. Too easy. But I respect Rob for uh, for letting us abuse this, but on a non-mandatory mission. So, you know, runs you won't even do this mission, really. You pushed it all the way to the police station? Why the police station? Specifically. Uh, okay, there was just... Some kind of geometry there, I couldn't surf on it. Yep, I can move, guys. I was gonna push it to the crusher, crusher but got bored. Okay, that makes sense. 
I'm not gonna risk trying to steal that cop car because I'll just get shot and killed. I'll just wait here until the mission passes. Wanted level? That's fucked up. Uh, let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. To pay and spray. And just do a bunch of like cleanup stuff. We need to heal, get rid of the cops. We'll also uh, go and get some. Go and get some. What's it called? Um, guns as well. I wish there was a way to make the failure horn work even with music off. Yeah. It would be funny, but. Oh, uh, well. I'm gonna need a four-door car. I'll grab the ambulance because I probably can't use the police car. I've got less than a minute to grab these guys. Fucking hell. Go! Maybe I need a, a car first for this. Needs to be a bit quicker. Yep, that traffic doesn't help. Winnable. We'll see. Wait, it's only two guys or what? Okay. Get to the bank on the main drag. Well, <laughs> I got stuck in the cutscene for 20 seconds, so not winnable now. Yeah, mission failed. Uh, it's pretty difficult to make any progress if every single mission bugs out on me. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, I can't even do this one now. Let's go and do my... Like, the only thing I can do is grab the ambulance first, but that's only going to save me like two seconds. I mean, if that's a vanilla bug that, like, maybe... I don't know if you plan on fixing it or not, Rob. But if the mission is impossible due to a random vanilla bug that might happen at any time, then simply put, like, the the the, uh, the timer shouldn't be that tight because that's just not fair, you know? Like, obviously, if you fix the bug and just, like, spawn them in the car or whatever, like, then, sure, you can have it be that tight. But, like... You should never fail a mission due to something that isn't your fault, you know? Where the fuck are these guys? In here? They're having a shootout with the police? Looks like the, you're the unwitting getaway driver. Yeah, looks like it. Shit the cops. Hello, let me fucking move. Oh my god. Just fucking pause. The good thing about this, beating this mission now, assuming that I complete it and don't like die to something at the end, um, is I'll have an auto save with guns and stuff, so I can load it if needed. If I need guns and stuff for the next section. Get the car restart. 
I've just fucking been to the respray thing. I would maybe be considering even just finishing the mission there. Like when you take those guys in, because yeah, a second trip is really unnecessary, in my opinion. Fucking hell. Yeah, come on. Because yeah, like, th th there's nothing like interesting about that second part. It's just doing the same thing again. Um, I don't think I can do any missions right now. Can I? I forgot what time it needs to be here for the getaway. It's like 6 or 15 or something. 6 or 14. Um, I can wait until 6. Do. I don't have a fold off. Fuck. Grab this. This is like my only chance. Uh, the ambulance probably would have been better. Uh, can you fuck off? <laughs> Am I even gonna make this now? No. I'm not even gonna make this. Damn. Jesus. Guess we're doing the next Marty's mission. Again. Yeah, this is mega um, still like sensitive on the old controls. All right, what's the what's the big thing here? Marty wants to see me. Well, it better be quick because I have. What the hell are you doing? Oh my God! What's the damn one? Looks like Mister Chance is delivering. He's not happy. Fair enough. Yes, it's pulling in front of me, man. Thanks. At least that guy got stuck on the uh, oh. stuck on the lamppost. What car is this? Uh, it's a new car placed into the mod. I don't know the name of it. But yeah, it's it's not in the original game. No. Right. Take the car and dump it into the sea. The guy's still coming after me. Poor guy. Got some bad news for him. Cool. Uh, I can't call point any mission again. I guess we can do Tony's mission in the meantime. Let's go and do uh, three vans. Rumor has it that the triads are bulletproofing their vans now, so Sonny's left grenades for you at eight balls. Bulletproofing their vans. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Didn't quite work how I wanted it to. Yeah. Shotcut. Ten grenades, that's all I get. That's not a lot considering they're already moving around.
I really thought they were like already aggressive, like in uh, Tuffman. Boy, a stallion in the rain. Let's hope I don't have to keep this for long. And a pop tire, even better. Yeah, I can't move. Yep. I had a perfect opportunity to blow this guy up right there. I stole here. Oh fuck. Somehow I am, I didn't blow that up, by the way. Nice. Uh, let's go and do the final Chunks mission. I would go and do the, um... I would go and do Joey, because it's the right time for it. But, again, if I start the mission now, I will instantly fail it. Because I need a fast four-door vehicle to start off with. Why did I start this fucking mission? I was... I was literally just talking about how I'm not gonna do that. And then I did it as I was saying that I wasn't gonna do it. These dogs are gonna get yet another flavor this month. Why have I got a Jason mask on now? Is that for the bank heist, I guess? What are these bullet trails? Uh, I'm gonna get destroyed. Yeah, can't do this with 40 health. Has so much fucking health. Yeah. You have so much health, it's crazy. Get this guy. Come with me. Come this way. Yeah, easy. Easy. Don't even have to fight the shotgun. Alright, never mind that. 
My fucking Mafia Sentinel almost destroyed them. It's still raining this whole time, by the way, Jesus. That is how property ownership works. True. I kill this guy for his gun. Actually, it's my property now. Oh, it despawned his gun immediately. But it's still my property. <laughs> That opens and closes way faster than I think. Oh hey, look at that. I guess I get this for winning the race. Which was really easy by the way. Oh yeah, we can go through uh, outfits. Leone suit. Wasted opportunity. Give me liberty. Okay, we haven't looked at too many outfits. Let's keep the suit. How do I... Let's go quick, quick, quick. Uh, getting a wanted level might be very bad. Because it might not go away since I'm in a cop car. And I don't know if I can do this without a wanted level. Or with a wanted level, sorry. Oh, I went away just in time. Do I fail the mission? Is the next question. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, cop car is like pretty much mandatory then, right? Because how else would you possibly make this in time? Keep the engine running. We'll be in and out in no time. At least we made it. The only problem is now is I can't pan spray this. We'd have to like switch to a different car. Which is really not ideal. What is that van doing? That doesn't look good. All units armed bank in progress back in the city Yeah, shit, the cops can get to the show pass. Hmm. Where can I switch cars that doesn't involve the police? Yeah, I can respray this. This is ten fifty-five. Is that This is ten Not that much. Oh, nice. Dude. You can stop boosting me now, that would be great. You dickhead. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, the fixed camera angle. Where are the other guys? Oh, the other guy. Hello? He's stuck. Oh, I can do it. Eh? Eh? Get in there, you buggy piece of shit. One eternity later. Come on! Come on! We're gonna get shot to death. Yes! Easy. 
Good luck getting out. I'll be fine. Easy. Good luck getting out, you said, huh? Literally no challenge. <laughs> nice and easy. Alright, that's all the missions that suck Tony's. Should be keeping the cash. Oh, inside the fish factory this time. Okay. Might need a toll vehicle to, to get over there. In that case. Or a fish farm. We'll take the ambulance. Should be pretty good. Oh, wait, this is a different place. I was thinking about the, the fish compound thing. Us in fucking this place again. Fuck's sake. I'm gonna go in here again. Yep, why did I think that there was. Ah, yes, officer, just fucking. Make this ten times harder than it has to be. Oh, an okay. Oh, that's huge. Got mega ammo. None of these guys are attacking me. For some reason. But the AI just aren't activated. I'm not going to push my luck, but this is, uh, doesn't feel intended. Waste them all. I thought I'd be able to get away with just, you know, not. Easy enough. Three stars, though. Makes it a bit more tricky. Just getting all the ammo I can. more spawns here. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Four stars. Bro. Why does everything just give me a huge fucking money ball? No! After all that, I get fucking busted because of a Another physics bug. Awesome. How do I already have three stars? I literally just started. I might as well just let them kill me. What the hell was that? GTA 3 mission with interior? You are aware I'm not playing the vanilla game, right? Like, you have read the title, right? Right? Someone said I was intended to go through the yellow entrance. Is this not the yellow entrance? Yeah, it is. I went through the intended way. 
I just hit the missions in the wrong order, I guess, because this, this way it would have told me. Oh, now they're attacking me. Yeah. So it was just a bug. And again, people are just spawning outside. Like, you should, they shouldn't be able to spawn there, because it just makes this ten times more annoying. Yeah. Well... I uh, wasn't expecting to be attacked the second time, but good to know that's also bugged. Of course, again. Like, why make this random? I feel like this would unironically be so much more fun. And so much more fair. If, like, you just made it so gang members couldn't spawn during these missions where you just have to fight constantly. Because, like, just the fact that it's just random whether you get, like, twice the amount of enemies or not. It's just really dumb. Like, look at this. It is following me, following me inside. What? And then I only got 10 bullets for the AK? I got like 100 last time. Is it random? How much, how many bullets you get? Because I got five shotgun shells from that last guy and then that guy only gave me one. Like, what the fuck? Alright, let's see if we get fucking screwed again. Ah, yes. An ambulance I can't answer. The stallion with a pop tire is my only choice. Alright, nice. I'm dead to these cops. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing I can do. Yeah, I can't move. Fun. <laughs> I wish I could move my character. That would be really cool. Sorry, a cheeky death warp never hurt anyone. Let's be real. Alright, how heavy are we? Normal. Good. No fancy crap. You've been jacked. Hold on. <laughs> Let me. Whoa, whoa. You've been jacked. Stop the triad kidnapping Sal's boys without destroying the limo. Okay. Ow. Uh, okay. Get back in the vehicle. Yeah, I'm trying. I had a little problem. These guys are so fast. How are they so fast in a stretch? I had a mega cheating. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, Ryan, all the fucking things are here to fuck me up now. Yeah. And my tires are popped. Fantastic. Man, the amount of randomness with, like, chasing people with, like, seemingly random routes and the triads randomly spawning and shooting at you and your tires being randomly popped and stuff, like, you know. There's, like, so much luck involved, which is, like, really weird because Titan Vice has, like, almost none. Like, the tires popping less so because, obviously, that's just in VC by default. Right? But, yeah, like... The fucking gangs. I'm gonna go the other way. To be safe. Maybe this was a mistake. Is that armor? Are you serious? Fuck you. Oh, my God. 
after all that. Just to get screwed over again by a fucking van that follows me all the way around the back. Like, fuck off. I guess it's Mafia Sentinels. <laughs> Fucking hijacking. Driver into the fucking fish guy. Fuck off. Another angry driver. Are you joking? I I can't progress. I can't move. Just getting blocked off by constant fucking angry drivers. What did you mean by that? Man? Hey, look at that. I did the exact same thing twice, and the first one failed, and the second one succeeded. All right, cool. I said we call it there. Because I'm hungry and I want some food. Uh, happy April Fools. I'm going to be playing some regular GTA 3. Haha, <laughs> April Fools. It's not regular GTA 3. It's Titan Thrice. I've pranked you all. You should see the look on your faces. Uh, but yeah, ice cream, not ice cream. Trial by fire should be apparently fixed. So let's go and quickly mop that one up. I say quickly, it might not be quickly, but... The only problem is, is that Molotov Rampage might be way harder than the regular one. Because, you know, you can kind of kill yourself with Molotovs, whereas you can't really kill yourself with a flamethrower. Hey, Warris. Submit whatever you want, dude. Don't throw another one at me. But I, at least I should be able to just like throw a load down here now and hopefully kill people. Robots are they? They're below the stairs. What the fuck? I, I think I just got hit by the uh, the fire truck. Uh, hey guys. Wow. Uh, thanks for the 10 free kills. That will certainly help me. Yeah, I got mushed out by the, uh, the fire truck. These guys aren't attacking me. I, I guess this is, this is normal weird behavior from rampages. Yeah, this is just the game being weird. This isn't anything to do with Titan. Cool. Progress. All right, let's do Chaperone. Spaced ghost, coast to coast. Oh my God, sick. Should be his top floor apartment in Hepburn Heights. Okay. That's Chico's apartment. Uh, okay, I need to go around that here. Oh, we can go inside again, sick. Chico won't be there forever, okay. Are there, like, people to kill? This is cool, though. Hello. The mission start cutscene or the ending credit cutscene? I mean, I'll watch both. There you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the east end of Atlanta Keys. Mm, thanks, Chico. Hey, thanks, girlfriend. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. Come on, Spider. Let's go and check out this party. Hello. Maria's trying to fucking one-tap them. 
the Diablos. Ow. I should have known. And I missed. Fucking hell. When I did this mission, Maria just ran out and punched one of them to death. Absolute Stacy shit. Yeah, true. I'm pretty sure she has like similar um, things to to Mercedes and Misty. And they have like something tied to them. I don't know exactly how it works. But yeah, they just like they're just com they're just complete badasses. Like they just walk up and like super fucking one punch man destroy people. Like just haymaker them off the fucking cliff. And it, it can be good, but it can also be quite bad because obviously it can kind of you know, they can get themselves into danger as well. Alright, let's go. We can just sprint our way up, at least. Alright. Tiger Tesla. Yeah, something like that. Well, I got the flamethrower, because why not? But yeah, it's not particularly useful to me. Oh, I need to get Maria up here. Where is she? Maria, hello? Okay, no, last call, I ain't got all fucking day. Yeah, Maria put all of our stat points into fucking combat and not, you know, IQ. Can I skip this? Yeah, okay. Alright. Now we can... You're gonna die now. You killed the wrong guy, Holmes. No, Maria. Oh my God, you psycho. Maria needs to stop fucking launching herself down here. She really does. Oh, a package. Are we good? Uh. Nice. Hello. Let's go. What GTA is this from, this ghost car? Is this like a VCS car? I remember the ghost being in a car, in a game. I'm pretty sure it's VCS. LCS. Yeah, 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 LCS, you're right. We've already had an ambush. Is there gonna be a second one? Okay, good. Nice job, guys. <laughs> they flipped and blew themselves up. Nice. Uh, people are coming out. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, they spawned another one. Okay. Now people are coming out. Five, six, seven. Let's go. Woo! It makes sense to keep that bit uh, somewhat normal. Aside from three stars, of course. Because, uh, you know, the first bit is already quite long. How is this cop car keeping with me? God damn. It's impressive. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too, not too shab. If I do say so myself. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first Maria time respect long plus. Long. You know, you treated me really good. Cool. No way, that's an actual mechanic, right? Right. April Fools. Maria doesn't actually respect you. Cutting the grass for three stars. What could possibly go wrong?
This is probably a really stupid idea, but why not give it a try? Excuse me. Taxi? Watch it be locked. No. I don't want to smash up the thing too much. It might already be too smashed up, actually. And if I wait there with three stars, I'm probably going to get fucking wrecked, to be fair. So this is probably a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a case of chasing him. He's already left. I'm chasing. Come back. <clears throat> Alright, well, this is all seemingly normal. The timer might just be, like, tighter or something. I don't know, but... We'll see how the rest is. I can only assume that I can't just run over Curly Bob. Because he'll probably fucking one-tap me or something. Hey, there's armor up there. Why is armor in the most inconvenient locations? I can't get that. Well, I can, but it's just not worth it. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth. All right. Oh, here we go. Is he flying off in a boat, I guess? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, I reckon if you had a decent gun here, like an M M16 or something, you could just, like, insta-kill him, probably. Come back here, coward. Please don't drop any, like, barrels or something and insta-kill me. That would be not very pog champ of you. Where is he? Oh, he's just... What the fuck is he doing? Uh, uh okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, I think he got a bit confused as to where he was going there. Just start, yeah, just starts fucking doing burnouts. In, the <laughs> in Tesco car park, what a boy. It's first day driving a boat. True, maybe, yeah, maybe that makes sense law wise. Like, he wasn't supposed to get off in a boat, but he saw you were chasing him and was like, oh shit, I just need to. I just need to try. And then he, like, loses control, you know? <laughs> Easy. Um, I'm going to save because the, I don't know if you guys noticed, but as soon as I got out the boat, when I was still in the water, the thing auto saved, so I'm pretty sure if I load that auto save now, the boat won't be there and I'll just drown. Because obviously it'll despawn the boat. So I'm pretty sure if I load my save, I'm just dead. So I'm gonna remake the save to be safe. Yeah. Like, there's not really a lot you can do about that unless you, like, rewrote the auto save script to wait until you're on, like, you know, stable ground instead of, like, an, a vehicle. But yeah, like, that's just a, a shortcoming of something that Rob didn't write. So there's not exactly a lot you can do about that. It works 99% of the time, just not in those, like, really niche scenarios. But yeah, that, that fucked me up a, th a few times in VC, so I'm uh, doing my best to avoid it where I can. Okay. One of my guys just saw some fishy-looking triads. Hanging around the slip road under Callahan Bridge. Tony. Can I kill these guys? I can't. That was maybe a really bad idea and I didn't even get any decent weapons from them. Usually they have AKs in the original. Uh, let's go to the slip road, I guess. Oh, these are in the same place. Okay, there's just one of them that spawns at a time instead of all three groups. Uh, do I even have the range to kill these guys? Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Nice. Uh, what now? Am I supposed to get another pager? Whoops. Uh... Hello? 
Oh, wait. So, for some dumb reason in my head, I thought that this was like the thing. Yeah, so I was already told what to do in the first page. It's just a different group. Okay, the slip road under Callahan Bridge. Well, this is Callahan Bridge, right? So they're like down here somewhere? Under the... Hmm. Hello? Try close to the sea. Oh, you mean... This is the slip road. Oh yeah, hello. That's fair. I guess it just doesn't help that there is two slip roads there because that other place where I went is also a slip road under the bridge. I just got them mixed up. I kind of want to drive through this, but I also don't want to get fucking insta-killed by shotgun guys. Oh, it's... This is cool. I didn't know there was a guy so close. Hello? Yo, this is fucking sick. It's like a sewer part? This is fucking mint. Rob, you have outdone yourself, man, let me tell you. Like, the amount of, like, just... Every couple of missions, you're going to, like, whole new territory. That's so cool. There's so many guys, I can just hear them all. It's the sewers from the cult multiplayer? That's so sick. Like, I I've never seen these things before, because I don't know too much about, like, cut content and stuff. So it's really cool to, like, learn about it, you know? I'm kind of scared of going in here. Oops. Yeah, the interiors are sick. Hello? Yo, this is nuts. I'm just gonna blow up all these when I see them, because I feel like it's probably gonna help me. There's so many guys. I'm, like, legit, like, blown away. Pun not intended. There's so many shotgun guys, so I've gotta be really careful. AK? 120 shots, nice. Do you have to kill everyone? I can hear some of the people on this side, I think. There's a package. Yeah, this is like unexplored territory. It goes even further down. What is that? Never mind, Rob, you're a fucking reporter. What is that hitbox? Yeah, never mind. Fuck. Oh, that is. That is a definitive edition hitbox right there. Look at that. No. Oh. Oh, that is gross. Oh. Never mind. I'm not playing this mod anymore. <laughs> um. Hello. Outplayed. Oh, yeah, so you do have to kill everyone. There's a fucking bank vault down here and shit. What the fuck? This is so cool. All right, blowfish with two stars. What could possibly go wrong? This mission will be fun. Am I making a mistake by starting it with two stars? We'll see. One thirty-five. Okay. Also, doesn't help this raining. What, what time do you usually have for this? 2.30? Yeah, I mean, with this with this cop car just constantly driving in front of me, it's gonna make this, like, significantly harder, if not impossible. Because it's just... He's not doing anything to, like, actually cause any threat. He's just slowing me down. Okay. Uh, nobody look, I'm gonna cheat. Get us back to where we were. The trash master has made more fragile. 
But yeah, but I, I literally went straight into a cop before and it barely did any damage. I'm gonna run the fuck away in case it does like double damage or something. Easy. Um, I might as well just death warp, to be honest. Kill me. Never mind. Uh, just die. Alright, what's the next mission? Is it now bomb the base? Wait, I've just realized I have like barely any money. I did like all the extra missions and I still only just have like 160k out of the 100 I need for bomb the base. If you just do, if you just do the uh, the regular missions, do you even have enough money to progress? I had to grind money for bomb the base, but then again, I also bought a lot of ammo and guns. But the guns are so cheap; they're like the, the Uzi is like a few hundred dollars a time. How much did you fucking buy? Because from from the sounds of it, it sounds like you also did some side missions, right? I started two side missions, didn't finish either. Okay. So money is going to be quite tight then, by the sounds of it, if you're doing like runs of this, like any percent runs. Yeah. Oh, right, cool. Oh, uh, eight ball wants to go in the Karuma specifically. We have mutual interest in seeing the cartels, supply lines, interrupted. Meet me at the lighthouse. I have something that may help. Wait, what did that start? You don't know me, but we have a... Okay. Just some random guy telling me to go to the lighthouse. Am I going there now, or am I going down to the docks? It's just a suggestion. All right, I mean, I mean let's go then. Oh, is it Tony? Because I took him to the lighthouse before. Darkle? Ain't no way. That's not a lighthouse? Is it not? Oh, that's just like an optional thing. Where the fuck is the lighthouse in GTA 3? <laughs> Alright. Corn 8 ball, we're going on an adventure. This is probably not a smart way to get to the lighthouse. Oh, I have to take the boat there? I can't drive there? There's no bridge or anything? That's fucked up. How do I... Where's the nearest boat from here? Do I have to go... Do I have to go back to the docks, get a boat, and then fucking go? Or is there a boat, like, down here somewhere? There's a boat on the beach. Okay. Eight ball. Let's go. Woo! That was sick. Alright, where's the boat? Here's the boat. Alright, eight ball, are you staying here? Okay. Um, just wait here for me, yeah? I'm, I'm going to see a guy at the lighthouse. Oh, is that rockets? Sick. Yoink. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. You could also mega jump. True, I could mega jump. But mega jumping is cheating, guys. Also me, fucking 45 seconds ago. Check this sick parkour, by the way. Whoa! Insane. Any package? Armor instead, though. See, that's... That is some LCS lore. Also, what the fuck is this geometry? Any package? Armor instead, though. See, that's... That is some LCS lore. Also, what the fuck is this geometry? Uh... Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm Tommy. What the? Don't waste my time with fucking sniper rifles. Where's the fun? This looks like the right tool for the job. What the fuck? <laughs> I was I was not expecting Tommy to be in Liberty City, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so sick. Can I kill him? Random random question. I know he's helped me, but can I kill him?
Now that is some law. Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, uh, <laughs> eight ball, off we pop. Let's go. All right, that, that that I did not expect that. That's fucking funny. Tommy in GTA Three, ain't no way. All right, th this is probably gonna be pretty huge if uh, if I need rockets for it. Or it's suggested to get rockets. Then this is probably gonna be pretty fucking mental. There are like 800 guys there. Holy fuck. <laughs> My god. Eight ball. Eight ball. Eight ball. You wait there, my friend. Good lad. Oh fuck, they're all taking their positions. Oh god. Okay, let's just start popping some heads. Can I not shoot this? Fuck's sake. Oh my god, look at God spreading the fucking thing. And there's cops after- Oh, eight ball! No, 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 eight ball, don't! Don't do it, eight ball! I didn't expect the fucking cops as well, and then fucking eight ball teleported. Fuck me. What the fuck? Who has the Uzi? Oh, is it the fucking helicopter? Oh my god. Okay, man. Now, 8-Ball does teleport eventually by himself. It's- it's- that's a thing in the original as well. Because he- he gets stuck. And most peds are set to, like, teleport if they get stuck for too long. But yeah, the- the, the cops I- I did not expect. They- they completely threw me off. Yeah, blocking him with cars is not a good idea because his pathing will just fuck up and he'll get killed. What, what I what I should do is now I know that the cops and stuff are going to be there. I should just kill as many guys as I can, like, straight away. Like, don't waste any time pissing about. And then, um... Like, use the rockets to just, like, take out the big groups and just go up there and fight them myself. Because if they're aggroed onto me, they won't shoot 8-ball. And I can take a lot more damage than you can. It's definitely doable without rockets, but... Rockets are... A really useful thing, so... Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm... Sick. Don't mind me. April Fools, guys. You thought I was dead? April Fools. I got you all. Again. You got me there. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, Tommy. Tommy. What the? Don't waste my time with fucking sniper rifles. <laughs> with the the fuck? fucking this sniper looks rifles. Like the right tool for the job. I love that. It's really good. Uh, before we go to Staunton as well, I need to do um, all like the bonus bonus missions, like the secret RC ones, which I assume have been modified. I've gone past where I need to go. And. Um, what else? Uh, Patriot Playground, which I assume has been modified as well. RC missions are the only ones unchanged. Oh, okay. Good to know. Save me. Save me wasting my time. So I think the only extra one that I need to do then is Patriot Playground, I think. I've done all the other, like, mission missions. Patriot Playground is no longer there, but there is an off-road mission in Portland. Okay. Then I just need to, uh, to figure out where the off-road one is. So I'll keep an eye out for some cars that look out of place, I guess. Alright. 8-Ball, you chill. 1, 2, 3. And now just run and start fighting people. I thought that guy was dead. That's my bad. I'm even better off with a sniper rifle, actually. Fuck, not if I miss. 
Are we good? I think we're good. Unless it's like a no, we're good. I don't want to go up there with the fucking guys. Okay, nice. Easy. Oh, I've got my 1986 called outfit. Nice. Uh, give me a second, guys. That's sick. I want to <laughs> keep the Tommy outfit. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to take that car, but I guess that's not happening anymore. Because 17 million cops have all decided to stand right on top of it. Uh, I might just be fucked here. Yeah, I don't know if there's a lot I can do. Yeah. It's... Every car I try and get into, I'm just going to get destroyed, yeah. Awesome. Well, there goes my rockets. Uh, but yeah, so where is this uh, off-road one? On the big concrete area next to eight balls near the ocean. Uh, okay. Which way is eight balls again? This way. Near the mansion. Do I see what I think I see? Okay. Does this mean it's time? Does this mean it's time for, for the mission? Oh no, Dodo. Okay. You have five minutes to collect all 15 checkpoints. Fuck. Okay. Pass through. Okay. Dodo checkpoints. Perfect. My my favorite, dude. I fucking love Dodo checkpoints. I have, like, no speed. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm gonna need a few tries to, like, get back to used to flying the, the Dodo again. Because I had, like, no speed, uh... This mission was made easier in yesterday's patch. What was changed about it in the previous patch? Like, should I be playing on the hardest one? Like, was it significantly nerfed or what? I don't remember really going about any, like, huge nerfs or anything. The checkpoints have better hit registration. Oh, so... It's not actually nerfed, it's just not bugged, is basically... What we're going with. Let me, let me get some proper speed. Let me go this way instead. And actually, like, take off somewhat properly. And then I'll come back, because we've got time. Okay, let's start getting some checkpoints. Oh, fuck. I missed that one. Sorry, we'll come back for it. Oh, shit. That's way lower than I thought. Fuck. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't know it was there until it like, it like already spawned in. Fuck's sake. All right, round three. I had no idea it was that low. Like you can't tell because of the pink arrows. They all like imply that they're all on the same level as you. Okay. What I'll do is I'll just loop back and grab this first one. But I'm already going like way too fast. Fucking hell. I just almost completely lost control. And now I'm just gaining no speed. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm now not going up whatsoever, even though I didn't press any buttons. Cool. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll, we'll try this again. I have no idea what happened there. Like I was going really fast and then all of a sudden, even though I didn't go up and lose all my momentum, I just wasn't able to go up whatsoever. Even though I wasn't pressing anything, which is supposed to make you go up by default. It just didn't. Yeah, this is just like a really awkward starting point because like you don't really have enough speed to just do that first takeoff properly unless you come back around again, but then you're too fast. And yeah, it's just a pain. I'm going to slow down a bit. I'm not going to fly too fast. Okay. We should have much better speed now to do this. But it annoys me that the Coronas don't spawn until you're, like, right next to them. Because I have no clue where the fuck they're meant to spawn until it's, like, too late. F 
fuck. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed up and I meant to fucking press down. Just to get that little bit of extra momentum. Okay, I need to come back again. Fuck! That was going so well. There we go. Why did I just lose all my momentum? What the fuck? Like, did you see that? I just like hung in midair. Like I hit something, but I didn't. I just lost all my speed there when I was turning around. Like, did I hit like the roof's hitbox or something? Like, oh my God, this is, that was so going so well. And then I just fucking lose all my speed to nothing. Fuck off. That's twice that's happened now. I'm flying and then all of a sudden I just collide with nothing and just lose all my speed and it just fucks me up. Fuck, I did it again. Ben, you fucking moron. Just press down. You fucking idiot, man. It's not rocket science. Just press the button. Holy fuck. What is wrong with me? I don't know if this is like rust or what because I just haven't flown the dodo in so long, but like... This is really basic. Like, that flight, that first bit is not difficult at all. Yeah, I knew that one would be under the bridge. Oh my god. Fucking insane, man. Maybe if I do this, I can get a longer run up and... Can get this one. Well, I can get it, but then I can't do anything else. Yeah, like... What kind of run-up is that that you're, like, left on? There's nothing you can do there to, like, properly take off and continue the path. Like, am I going nuts or is that just not possible? Like, is the intended path just impossible? Like, how are you supposed to do that? You don't have nearly enough time to run up and do anything. Like, you can't possibly get enough speed to get that second checkpoint without, like, double backing on yourself like I've been doing. Like, the intended path just isn't possible. Which is, like, very flawed. Because if people try and do this, they're going to be trying to do it the intended way, which doesn't work. Which, you know, isn't exactly very fair for players that don't know any better. There we go, Ben. That wasn't so hard, was it? Okay. Chill. Slow down. Because this fucking jump one... I don't know, jump one. The bridge one is going to be a real pain in the ass. So, just take it chill. Did I beat it yet? Yeah, I'm about to beat it right now. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh god problem. Can I take off anywhere here? Maybe like on these bits? Maybe? Maybe here if I'm lucky. Hopefully this USJ isn't here. No. I just spun out. I would like to let you all know that I didn't press turn right there at all. And I just, I just bounced off it and flipped. But yeah, Rob, like... The place where you spawn is, like, a really big problem, in my opinion. Because when you start here, like, from your intended start place, you can't do the route. It's not possible. Even if you fly optimally, you don't get enough speed to hit the second checkpoint, even with a perfect takeoff. Like, you either have to reverse or take off and then double back on yourself and get the second checkpoint. Like, if you just take off here right in front of you, you don't have enough speed. So, like, I was saying, if people do this, try and do this the intended way, it's just impossible. Which isn't, you know, isn't a good thing. Because a lot of people won't think to do this, because they don't know how the dodo works. So, yeah, like, just something to think about. Okay. 
All right. Circle back again. Because we've got so much time, there's no point in, like, rushing this. There's absolutely no point. So this one's way further down. Yeah. Oh, how am I supposed to fucking see that? Ugh, that is so stupid. You have to go all the way down for the tree, and then there's just a fucking radio tower right there. Like, I can't see that, man. You just have to know it's there. Fuck off. That's such a troll. And now I think I'm fucked again. I can't take off anywhere here. Oh, my fucking god. I have such an insane troll. <laughs> of course. Yeah, just sink me. It's not worth it. Like, come on, man. Like, that is impossible to do without trial and error. Like, how could you possibly know that that thing is, like, right there in your path? It's so hard to fucking see. Like, someone who is perfect at dodo flying, which I know doesn't exist, but, you know, let's say you get a robot who is perfect at dodo flying should be able to do this first try without any issues, but you can't, it's not possible. Because you would immediately fail on the check second checkpoint, and even if you didn't, you would get to the bridge part and you wouldn't be able to react in time. And then even if you get past the bridge part, you would then just hit that radio tower. Because it's, it's not possible to react in time. Also, brilliant fog. Just what I fucking need for this. Why are these all of a sudden massive? What? Why are the coronas now double the size, but the hitbox isn't? Like, oh my god, man. Like, what the fuck? Maybe fog changes the corona size? That would be news to me. Like, why would, why would a weather effect change that? Well, I mean, I guess we'll find out, because the fog is cleared. But if that's the case, then you need to set the weather for this. Because otherwise, again, you start and it happens to be foggy. Impossible. Straight away. Because you just can't see the fucking coronas. Either that or you change it so the coronas are there all the time, instead of only spawning when you get right next to them. Yeah, it does. Like, they're fine now. Yeah. You, one of those things needs to change to make this fair at all. Because, yeah, like, it's impossible to see the coronas until you're right next to them. Which is just dumb design. Yeah, I just have no speed here. <sighs> Fucking hell. Like, the hard part of this should be the fact that it's the dodo and it's, like, a, you know, a fast flight. But that isn't the hard part. It's all the other bits that make it difficult, which just shouldn't be the case in a mission like this. How am I falling there? I wasn't even close to the fucking edge. Fuck off, game. Like, I had like a fucking meter until the edge. I wasn't touching it at all. And I just start fucking slipping down. Oh my god, man. Like, what the fuck? Is any of this functioning like it's supposed to? I need to go out wider here so I don't fucking hit the buildings. Because the buildings make this turnaround so much harder. And the hitboxes are so fucked. Yeah, I'm not playing the buggy version apparently, but the guy... Oh, I should have hit that one. Fuck. I forgot that one existed so close to the other one. That's fine. What the fuck, man? I pressed down once and I just like fucking teleported almost. Like I was, I didn't even feel like I was going that fast for that to happen. Can I even take off here? There's so many fucking peds and lampos and shit. And of course I get shot and blown up by random gangs. Wow, that's so fun, man. 
I could have probably taken off there and been able to finish, but no. A random gang spawn. What a cool and interesting mechanic the random gangs are. I love failing missions that have nothing to do with gangs because I'm getting fucking shot at all the time. Like, th this has convinced me. Random gangs attacking you at any point in the story should just be removed. Because look at this. It's like you're playing fucking Chaos Mod, but you're not. And at least with Chaos Mod, like, you understand what you're getting into. But this is just the regular game. But you can just be randomly killed at any minute due to a random spawn choosing to attack you. Like, it's so fucking dumb. Like, I wasn't fully convinced before that removing this is the best thing to do, but... Yeah. Failing a checkpoint challenge... Because of a gang shooting you is so fucking stupid. I have just no speed at all. Absolutely zero speed. I couldn't even turn around there. I still can't. How am I not gaining speed? <laughs> I'm not fucking going up. I'm flying straight and I am somehow gaining zero speed. And I'm just losing it instead. Like that was a perfect takeoff and yet I'm just gaining no fucking speed at all. And now here I'm magically going twice as fast. Make it make sense. Literally the exact same inputs twice in a row. I have too much speed, in fact. Like, I can't even control my dodo right now. Yep. Yeah. I do the same amount of inputs twice in a row, and I'm magically going like two to three times as fast as before. I just can't slow down. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking concentrate now because I'm just making dumb mistakes like that. Like, I don't know if I still had rain physics or not, or if I just held break too late, but just fucking flinging myself off the map like an idiot. going way too fast though. Can I get these both at the same time? Nice. Oh, I got it. Alright. This is new territory. I need to turn around and slow way the fuck down. Okay, where is this one? All the way down here, of course it is. Jesus Christ. I have no fucking control of it right now. This one I can just dive bomb, surely. But I'm not going to risk it. No way, don't fucking hit that, whatever you do. Hey, would you look at that? 
It's crazy how as soon as I knew the route and was actually able to get my fucking dota off the ground, it's actually really easy. Crazy how that works. Alright, I need some guns again. The car's a trap. Meet me at the slip south of Callahan Bridge. Okay, it's all normal. Oh, another one. Sorry, Fido. Sal's goons got to the boat already. Meet me by the plane at the end of the dock in Atlantic Keys. The plane? Don't tell me it's another fucking dodo thing. It is a fucking dodo thing again. Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you yeah, to- Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just took a lot of damage for some reason. Uh, I need to move this car if I'm going to be flying down here. I wish I could see where I was going, guys. Oh, am I flying to Staunton now, I guess? There's a bridge here somewhere that I'm going to collide with. Oh, I'm just flying into the ocean. I can't tell because I can't see anything. Remove fucking fog at this point as well. Remove everything. This game sucks. Wait, does this mission force fog? That is so incredibly fucking bent. Like, why? It doesn't make it harder. It just makes it more annoying. Why do I keep getting damaged? That can't be intended, right? Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going with this thing. Like, it doesn't tell me where to go, and there's no map. So I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I assume Staunton somewhere. But it could be anywhere in Staunton. Like, the markers are always changing. So what am I supposed to do? Just fly randomly until I go near the pink marker? Like, if you're going to make me fly, you should at least t tell me where I'm supposed to be flying to. Oh my god, man. Can you guys fucking move? I'm just gonna drive there if I can. I'm gonna see if it's in Staunton or not. Uh, actually, I'm probably gonna get shot and blown up before I even have a chance. Because again, random gangs, so fun. Yeah, it is in Staunton somewhere. Oh, this is so boring. Just getting attacked by gangs constantly trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Neither does any platform I'm aware of. So. Uh, another mission fail because I keep getting shot at by random gangs. That's so fun, man. It's crazy. Alright, I guess I'll just keep trial and erroring this mission as well. Just keep flying about until I magically find my way. Because without perfect map knowledge, I can't possibly know where the fuck I'm supposed to go when I can't see where I'm going. And, you know, it is very unreasonable to require perfect map knowledge. Like, I have no clue how far the roof hitboxes extend, what bits I can fly through, what bits, what, what bits I can't. I have no idea. This is just, like, completely crippling me. Because I already struggle hard enough as it is. When it's foggy, I legit can't see two feet in front of me. So I I will just hit things until I figure it out. Like, it just becomes trial and error, which is very flawed. And I keep randomly taking damage for no reason as well. Like, all I can do is take off and try and figure it out mid-flight, which is just unreasonable to ask of the average player. Like, I can't see the ground. My other option is just try and crash land somewhere in Staunton. But yeah, I, I can't see. So, yeah, dead again. But like, I firmly believe you don't beat this mission on your first try without knowing exactly where to go beforehand. <clears throat> Which like defeats the whole point of the, lo the, 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 like, the logic, right? Like, if I know where I'm going, it's not a problem. Like, now, I have 
a theory of like, oh, now I can just land anywhere in Staunton and drive there. But I didn't know where I was going until I already got to that part and saw that it was in Staunton. And if you try and drive to see if it's in Staunton, then you just get shot by the gangs in Portland and you're dead anyway. So your only choice is to wing it. Yeah, I'm just going to fly across to Staunton and try and crash land somewhere blind. I think it's my best chance. That works. Mm, I love being attacked by gangs. I had the option to just throw myself off and risk flipping the dodo and I was like, no, that's a dumb idea. But it might have not been dumb because this is even more dumb. Just letting myself blow up to gangs. So there you go. Mission is easy enough once you know what you're doing. Before you have that prior knowledge of where to go, Just not reasonable. Ugh, dear. Really not a fan of that design at all. Saratori will be leaving Luigi's at about 10-1. That doesn't really help me much. Well, I don't really have time to get there anyway if he's going to leave at 10-10, so I might as well just get some guns and stuff. What? So you just fucking instantly failed a mission the second he walks out the door? I didn't even know what time he was supposed to be out because the fucking text doesn't tell me. Like, what is that? Oh my god, man. Like, what is happening? Like, this this was, like, so well designed up until, like, the end of Bomb to Base. And then all of a sudden, like, every mission is just fucked. As long as the cops in his pocket get any closer and the Mafia will spot you too. Well, I haven't got time, so I've got to fucking go in there and kill them. And there's just M60s or what? Yeah. Brilliant. Now what? So now I don't fail? Like, where is Sal? Oh, these guys, of course. Like... I somehow won. Even with 700 fucking cars. Wow. What is the intended way to do that? You have no time at all to kill all of those guys like what is the strategy there you just have to throw yourself at it and hope you win you have such little time to get to salvatore's do you don't have any time to like you know actually try and plan your attack you just have to throw yourself at the door and make them spot you and then it just becomes pure chaos brain says get spotted go to pay and spray and then go and kill them like, that sounds like such a fucking stupid solution. So you're intended to, like, halt the mission halfway. Go and get rid of the cops and then come back. But then you still have to face the guy with the M16. Approaching for the other side of Luigi's club allows access to a less guarded alleyway. Okay, Rob, that's fair enough, but be real here. Like, nobody... And I mean, nobody has the time to go and, like, like, you pull up here, right? And you're coming up. You have, like, ten seconds to figure this shit out. At no point are you going to stop and go, hmm, maybe, oh, there's guys there. Maybe I should go around and go the other way. Because by the time you've even formulated that thought in your head, you've already failed the mission. Like, like, be serious, you know? Like... Nobody is going to figure that out. Nobody is going to have that thought. Because your only choice is to be like, Oh my god, I, I don't have time. I need to go and deal with it now. Like, you can't have a mission that requires, like, formulated, predetermined strategy. But then give you no time to actually figure it out. Choose your target order carefully. The FBI will inf be in full force as soon as you take out the first one.
Um, okay. Is there just two guys now? Oh, there's, there is three. They're just, like, stacked on top of each other to start with. Okay, so these guys are, like, right next to each other. This guy's inside? Okay. So now what? Yeah, they're inside. So this is probably not the brightest idea, because I want to end the mission in here, I think. Hello. I don't, I don't have a lot of time to run in and out again with this. Shut up. I'm so fucked when I get out of here. <sighs> okay, let's try this again, but let's do, um... Let's do the other guys first. And then we'll end in that building, because it's going to take forever to get out of there. And it's just going to be too slow. And as soon as I walk out of the building... There's just going to be fucking... There's going to be FBI right there and they're just going to absolutely destroy me. Are these guys all up here again? Looks like it. Lucky I might even get some of those guns before I get fucking blasted by the FBI. Okay. Fuck off. Super fast here. Yeah, there's like no like reasonable way out of here. Hey guys. Well, guess I'm fucking dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Because I can magically somehow get to the pain spray. Game wants to cheese me, I'm gonna chase it right back. Fuck yeah. Alright, um... I guess I'll go and do King Courtney's missions now. These missions are crap enough in the original as it is, so... Uh, I definitely want a faster car for this, I think. That's a race. Tank, Patriot, nothing else. What are those things? Like barracks of some kind? I am being a bit fraudulent, aren't I? Ah, oh, brilliant. Immediately fu Okay, this guy's just gonna fucking ram me? No? Then why did he? 
The guy just chose to fucking run me out the way and then just decided not to anymore. <coughs> that tank is just driving into the wall. They do it in the OG as well, really. It's news to me. Ah, oh, brilliant. That one's down here, I think. Yeah. And the other one's up here. Oh my fucking god. Shit like this just, this just makes me want to fucking use bribe stars, because the cops are just so annoying. They don't make it more difficult, they just make it random. Well, lost because of cops. Awesome. I definitely deserved to lose this mission. I definitely played worse than my opponents. I am so fucked. I'm so far away. They've got so many checkpoints on me now. Steal a car, get four stars, hit a random door, spin out, like you you can't think this is this is good gameplay. Like why are the wanted levels so fucked? I get two stars, I steal a cop car, I get three stars, I steal another cop car, I get four stars. Like is this intended or is it just fucking broken? The wanted system is so fucked in this. It makes it, like, impossible to do anything the second you get cops. Like... <sighs> any other time... I don't get fucked over there by the roadblock and I can drive and pick up this marker. But because I happen to have four stars from a random fucking thing that's nothing to do with the mission... I get screwed. Like, how is this fun? Again, the mission isn't difficult at all. It's just random because of the cops. It's so fucking stupid. And now I have to go and pay and spray again. Because I don't lose my wanted level. So I have to just... Again, this isn't difficult. It's just boring. Please tell me this mission you don't have to fucking drive to Portland in the perennial. Please acknowledge that that is such horrendous game design. Let's drive. <sighs> like why? What's the point? Instant popped a tire. Fun. I'm just gonna get fucking creamed. Because they've all got Uzis and I'm in a terrible car. Some of them even have AKs. Like, where's the fucking... Where's the fun here? I've just got to drive around and hope they don't shoot me. And don't pop my tires and shit. How is it fun to have to drive all the way across the map in one of the worst vehicles in the game just to then randomly get your tires popped and fail the mission due to something that's random and then fucking try again? How is that fun? You are literally 100 meters away from a pain spray. Ah, yes, that solves all the problems. Just, again, cancel the mission midway and go and pay and spray. What great, fun, interactive gameplay this is, guys. Let me just pause my progress and go and drive here slowly, pay and spray, kill a few, for, few more guys, then go back and do it. Oh, that's such a good theory. Why didn't I think of that? Like, how can you miss my point so much? Like, 
it's good game design because you can waste more time mid-mission to make it more reasonable. Like, what fucking planet are you on now? Mmm, both my back tires are popped. This is fun. I can't even move. I can't move. I'm pressing W. Nothing's happening. I can't drive. I'm just sliding. I was holding W and my car's just going like this. Like, fuck off. How many fucking missions do I have to do and just encounter bug after bug after bug? Like, holy fuck, man. What would you do to improve it? First things first, remove this fucking drive. It's so unnecessary. Give you... Actually, you don't even need to get rid of the drive. Just give us a faster car. Why a perennial? I wouldn't mind so... Like, with a trip skip, I wouldn't mind so much. Because at least you can get back into the action quickly enough. But yeah, like... I, I said this when Rob first said that he was going to do this. As soon as he said that he was going to make it so you can get your tires popped, I said instantly that that is fucking stupid, in my opinion. Because at no point does it does making your tires be able to be popped make this game harder. All it does is make it random. Because you can just be driving and your tire gets popped randomly and you spin out and you die. And it's not your fault. It's a random chance that they pop your tire. I think that should just be removed. I think it just makes the game worse. It makes the game less fun, and it just makes it more luck than skill. There is no reason, and this mission just exemplifies why it shouldn't be in the game. Like, where the fuck are all the Diablos now? Why am I in the air? Like, I really hope somebody out there understands what I'm getting at. Like, you do the mission the same way and you get different results every single time. That is not good game design. It's just luck. If you do the same thing, you should get the same outcome. It should be based on your skill. I didn't lose then because of my skill. The spawns are random. Your tires getting popped are random. The cops are random. Like, why is every single mechanic in this mission based on luck? Like, how can you possibly think that that's a good idea? I don't get it. Oh my god. Every single time I fucking run someone over, I feel like I'm gonna flip. Like, I already need to pay and spray now. Otherwise, I'm just dead. Like, I'm gonna fail again if I don't run pay and spray now. Ah, so it seems that where the ambulance hit me before and I failed, that, that street is like a fucking death trap on the west side. I should definitely avoid that, but this one isn't too bad. It seems that they don't even have like AKs though. They just have Uzis here, but I don't know if that's just me talking shit. But it looks like the guys with the AKs are, like, positioned in a specific place. Ah, well, there goes all my tires being popped again. Like, at this point, I'm just screwed. I'm lucky if I make it out. Because, yeah, like, I can't drive efficiently. And I'm just going to get stunlocked by these guys in the stallions. Unless they're dumb and flip over. Point proven. Lucky. Fuck you. Again, random. If they didn't spawn, I would have passed. But it's random. 
Rob, is there no ASI script that you can steal that um, fixes the the smoke for like car health? Like to make it emulate the PS2 version, like RE3 has? Because that would help a lot with this kind of stuff. Because like in this mission, I have no clue what the what my car health is. Because obviously in GTA 3 PC, it just goes like, you know, no damage like this, white smoking, blow up. But on PS2, it, it has the right amount of black smoke depending on like, you know, the car's health. Surely that can be like implemented. Yeah, just, just a random thought because it would make this like significantly less annoying. Because right now my health could... My car health could be 90% or 9%. I have no idea. And, yeah, it's obviously an issue with vanilla. Why is there a guy with a fucking M16 there? What the fuck? Like... Why? Like, the AKs are bad enough. A fucking M16... So if you just go near him, you're just dead? Like, come on, man. This guy's just not gonna let me paint spray, I guess. Fair enough. All right, well, paint spray's out of the question, guys. Because I can't get out the car to make him get out the car, so just in general. There you go. Good job, man. No, don't come back in. There we go. Ah, what the fuck? This guy's cheating. Let me get out. Alright. <laughs> this guy's fucked. Stop. Stop, dude. Let me play the game. Bro, this guy just will not stop hitting me. Ah, uh, no, I'm just gonna get fucking spun out constantly. Because my tires are popped again. Yay, look at me go. After all that. Again, missions failed due to stuff that is out of my control. Add it to the list. One more pain spray. I can't move again. I can't move. Why is this happening? I literally can't move. I'm pressing W. Nothing's happening. My car's just stuck. Like, I can't move. So, so when you get to 10, your car just locks up. So this mission is unbeatable. Good to know. After all that, the mission isn't passable. Fuck's sake. I'm glad I spent like an hour farming that mission just to find out that it's bugged and not completable. Fun. A little bit, I believe it's all four tires being popped rather than when you get all ten. Well, it's one hell of a fucking coincidence that both times that I've got all ten, my car is locked up. But I'll take your word for it. But yeah. It's, it's not worth fucking doing that mission if it's just gonna lock up on me every time I make any kind of substantial progress I'm pretty sure I had my all four tires popped several times and it never locked up like that during that mission if it's just a perennial thing Rob then it's even more it's even more reason to just scrap the perennial and just <laughs> use anything else I always go in this way Okay, man. Cool. Yeah. Uh, more time wasted due to bugs. Cool. Yeah, as I was saying, like this going this way, even though it's kind of dumb, is like tradition for me at this point. So I'm gonna keep doing it, even if it flips me. Is he like fighting people in there or what? Looks so like you're too late. Prison on transport is already on the move. Oh fuck. Uh, I guess I'll try this. 
Maybe this wasn't the best idea, actually. So I thought I'd be able to get this around this corner. Yeah, no, we'll have to go around. Come back! Wait, wait for me! I'm on the way. Can I come out this way? Yeah. Hello? How was that my fault? Missions failed due to random bullshit. One more on the tally. I'll we'll try and set the cop characters a bit faster. Talk directly to Elon. True. It's a great idea. Are you serious? This guy almost this guy is actually gonna flip and kill the guy again. Okay. I wish I could move, guys. That would be fun, wouldn't it? So this guy in the fucking transport bus, just... You've got about 10 seconds to go and get the guy back before he just kills himself with the, uh, the, with the Kambu guy inside. That's fun. Yeah, I'm just fucked now. Yeah, I'm just dead. That was fun. That was fair. That was my fault that I lost. That was skill. 100% skill, man. This guy just drives like a fucking maniac. Of course it's locked. Like... What am I supposed- How is he dead? What am I supposed to do there? Like, how is that at all fair? He just randomly fucking drops dead. Like, come on, man. Like, I just- I can't do any fucking missions apart from Azuka's ones. Like, all the side ones just don't work. Oh, dear me. I think I need a break before I fucking go nuts. I need to have a little mental reset. Yeah, I, I had a little mental reset. Had some din-dins. Now no, I'm back. I'm ready to... Back and ready to snack, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even have a chance to succeed in the mission there. Like, he just drove off straight into the ocean and he's dead. And I, I fail. There's just nothing I can do there. I'm gonna take this Sentinel because it's pretty fast. And I'll be able to pain spray it straight away when I get five stars. So, higher chance of survival if I don't switch. I really don't like it when they drive down here, because I feel like there's like a fucking 50-50 chance that they'll just die. So how do I trigger the five stars? Just get near him. Okay, done. Now we just need to pay and spray. Like, I don't care about this guy. I mean, I probably should care about him, because he's probably gonna die. But, like, I feel like I need to risk it. And I need to just pay and spray. Like, paying and spraying is way more important.
And I'm just going to pray that he survives. And he's dead. <sighs> I'm half tempted to just use a bribery play. Because it would make this mission actually doable until it gets fixed. And would remove like a ton of tedium. So if I fail a bunch more times, I might just do it. Because yeah, like my strategy will work. All that has to happen is that the AI doesn't kill the Kambu guy. But I can't control that. Like he will just kill himself over and over again. And it's out of my control. Oops. Fuck's sake. Now I need to go and get another fucking thing. All right, can you not drown, please? Or flip? All right. All I gotta do is just paint spray. That's not good, that guy just flung himself off, which means they're probably gonna flip. Yep, dead again. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what is the strategy here? Like, they just keep killing themselves. If I were to order a takeaway, what would I get? So like, so here, like takeaway is different to like fast food. Like if we were gonna get takeaway, we'd get like Chinese food or something or like Indian or whatever, not fast food. But my, my fast food of choice and also my favorite food is KFC. I fucking love KFC. Like it is so good. KFC is legit like fucking God's gift to earth as far as fast food is concerned. All right, I'm gonna switch to the Sentinel again, but I'm gonna try and get that guy in the Sentinel. Didn't KFC turn to shit a long time ago? I mean, here in the UK, it hasn't really changed. KFC differs based on the restaurant in my experience. I've had great KFC and terrible KFC. Maybe, yeah. But all the KFCs that I've been to have been fucking gorgeous. And that's in different countries too. Like I've had Dutch KFC, German KFC, English, Swedish, Danish. It's all really good. It's all quite different because of how like they sourced their chicken and stuff, but it's all really fucking good in my opinion. Okay, will this guy get out? Yeah, okay. I just need to get him here. Go. Okay. This is good. No, I just need to get to the pain spray without getting massacred. KFC in Israel is pretty shit. So, so here's a weird thing. A lot of people like KFC for the reasons that I don't like it, if that makes sense. So, hear me out. Let, let, let me finish this. Let me concentrate and then we'll talk. Then we'll talk shop. Okay, thank fucking God. Uh, right, so KFC, it tastes really different depending on um, on where people get their chicken from, right? So in the UK, the KFC is like significantly more greasy and kind of like disgusting compared to like Swedish KFC because sweet in Sweden they have like laws where you have to get your chicken sourced from, you know, good places, whereas the UK just gets it from wherever's cheapest. But I actually like the UK more because when I want fast food, I want that grotesque greasy, disgusting food, you know? Like, I don't want it to be properly sourced. I don't give a shit where it's from, as long as it tastes good. So, yeah. Like, Swedish KFC is still good, but the UK's KFC is objectively worse, but it tastes way better, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that mission needs fixing, but it's doable, at least. It's just very random. But it's doable. Alright, we need to... We need to steal three cars. Easy enough. How hard can it be, right, guys? Clueless. Excuse me. Oh my god, don't get stuck. Where the fuck? 
Hello? Where is this thing? I thought it was in the car park. What? Am I nuts? Where is this car? Is it like over that wall? How do I get to it? Like here? It's not over the wall. Then where the fuck is it? I'm so confused. Is it like on the roof? Can you even get to this roof? Or am I just being trolled and it's not, and the markers are not where the thing is? I'm pretty sure it's this car, right? Do you, do you steal? Is it? It's locked. Is it like any of these? The markers are accurate. Then where is it? it, it is it on top of the building? Let me... Hold on. Is that like an interior that I'm missing? underground. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe it's in that weird ass garage. Fuck, how do I get to that? I know where you mean. Okay, how in the fuck do I get to this underground bit? Here it is. Okay. I wonder if this is here. No, it's not. There's usually an M16 in armor there. Okay, uh, let's restart the mission, and we'll we'll grab the uh, we'll, we'll grab that car. Yeah, this is smart, putting it in here. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Fucking guy with a shotgun right next to it. That's kind of fucked up. What's health on that? Good to know. Oh fuck, there's one in Portland? Dude, what the fuck? How am I gonna get to Portland and back in four minutes and do the other two cars? What? That's fucked. Oh my god, where's this other one? I need to actually kind of figure this out. This one is just chilling on the campus? Or is it... No, it's not underground. Uh, like in the metro thing. What's this guy shooting at? Oh, it's a fucking blister compact, even better. Sorry, bud. Nothing personal. Uh, let's go and see where this Portland car is. God, what it, what would even be the best way to get across? Like, what, should I drive? Should I get a boat and try and take it across? I feel like we should get the Portland one first. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, it's gonna get rid of the fucking marker because I failed the mission. I don't know where it is. My God. If only this game had a fucking map so I could see where this bastard car was. Without having to fucking redo the entire mission. Alright, I'm just gonna start the mission and go straight to Portland. I think that's my best shot. This one's gonna be right in the middle of St. Mark's, I can feel it. Where is this car? Hepburn Heights? That's fucked. Get over there! Oh, I smashed it. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, I can't even get over there from... 
Uh, I guess tunnels is the fastest way. Grab it and go to the tunnels. I have a distinct feeling that if I damage any of them, it's just going to be game over because I just don't have time to... Like, it, it wastes too much time to pay and spray them. But, like, going through the tunnels without crashing is just complete luck because of the lane switches. Like, sometimes there's just not a whole lot you can do to prevent it. Sometimes you just get fucked with traffic. Alright, well, this only took two minutes. It's not too bad. Like, that was easily the longest trip. Why is there a fucking van in the pain spray? Oh my god, you you dickhead. What the f It's locked! What? That is so fucked up. No way is it bulletproof as well. It just has so much health. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I can't pain spray with the corpse in there. So what do I do? I can't get it out. Drive away and b are you fucking serious? Is this? I I find it hard to believe that this is even possible. The amount of things that waste so much time and you only have six minutes. It's crazy. Holy fuck. Talk about being punished for damaging your vehicle. Holy shit. I'm not convinced I can do this anymore. Oh, what a troll, man. What a fucking troll. Oh my god, go up. Ah, <laughs> fuck! What a fucking place for this thing to be parked. Like, how are you supposed to get it out there consistently without fucking damaging it? I need a car. This is such a troll. I've never been trolled so much in my life. What's the fastest way to get in, in here, even? Alright, it's, it's all the other way around. I should have just kept driving. But instead I decide to be a fucking idiot. Not a good time for rain either. Really not a good time. It's worth slowing down a bit to try and ensure I don't take damage. Because damaging the car... Loses so much time because of that van. It's like 30 seconds lost if you damage it. Thankfully, it's not based on your car's health whether it needs to get report or not. It's just cosmetic damage. So you can get shot by gangs and stuff and it doesn't matter. You just need to not hit things. That's the most important bit. Okay. We're saving a lot of time with that drive. Alright, we've got a whole minute extra this time. By just saving all that time. I need to think of how to get this fucking thing out. I feel like going the other way might be better. Please go away. I don't have time for you. I feel like going this way might be better. Yeah. Avoid the gangs a little bit. Almost hit that because of the rain, but we're fine somehow. Good. Okay, two minutes to get this, uh, whatever it is. I forgot on what car it is. Stinger. Whatever it is in the garage. I want to fight this guy deliberately like that so I don't shoot the car. I don't think it matters if I shoot the car, but I think I've got time to not risk that. 
Now we've just got to be somewhat quick on the way back. And don't fucking crash. Whatever you do, do not crash this car. Do not even think about crashing it. All the time in the world. Nice. 14 seconds left without crashing. 13 seconds even. So yeah, if you crash, you're screwed, basically. God damn, that's a fucking hard mission. Snacks deal steal. Cause I already spent the Yaddy Posse, go and steal a Yaddy car. Head north, you'll find a new plot. Alright. Any uh any Yaddy bros? Construction site. Alright, let's. That looks good. There's like 700 dudes on my right, all standing there. Like yeah. Should have should have uh, been a bit faster on on the old W key there. Or maybe just get out and abandon the car immediately. Who knows? Alright, I might just try and just drive away instantly. No, that still blows me up. Damn, okay. Would reversing maybe work? Would I get like behind the thing in time? Or do I just get out and fight? I honestly don't know. I have an M16. I could fuck most of them up, to be honest. I wonder what happens if you, like, kill the guys before you get to the deal. I assume that doesn't work, because, like, you know, surely they'd be like, oh, the deal's off or whatever. Even though I know the deal is a trap, you know, canonically, Claude doesn't know that at the time. So if I just bust it instantly, then, you know. Doesn't help that my car gets shot to shit here as well. Does it like change the vehicle, the position of my vehicle as well? Like is my vehicle here? Yeah it is, okay. So now I can just run. It doesn't matter if that guy dies, I don't think. He can fucking die for all I care. Yeah, let him die, okay. I mean this isn't good. Again, random spawns making this 10 times more hard than it should be. And cops, of course. And this is what I mean, Rob, about disabling random gang spawns, because it just makes this so much more random. Just makes it annoying. You might get zero random spawns, you might get ten. And the difficulty scales based on how lucky you get with spawns, which is not good. I almost got fucking creamed there, uh, Jesus. Move, man, the fucking trash master of all things just sat there right in front of me. Fuck off. I'm gonna pay and spray it with four stars somehow. Okay, I guess I'm not using that blister, lol. Jesus Christ. First drop is in a bathroom inside the Bedford Point something. Okay, I need to heal. Like, desperately. Hello? Is it in here? I'll fight it down. Hello? Ah, oh, nice help. I had a bus. 
I have a feeling I'm getting ambushed. Okay. That's that trap that I was talking about. Grab it, Claude. Isn't this the one where I have to go all the way to Portland now? Ah, uh, yes. Another random factor. Thanks, officers. Three stars. Okay, we can paint spray here at least. Alright, let's finish Kenji's. I'm interested to see what happened with SmackDown, because this is one of the most bullshit in the original, in terms of, like, luck factor. Can us murder at least 10 Yardy dealers, okay. Kill them quickly once they process back, they're off the streets. Okay, so it's 10 instead of 8. Aside from that, seemingly normal. Hopefully the spawns are less random. Because that's what makes this mission crap in the original. Quack. Dealer minced. What? Quack? Ah, yes. Random cops again. Very cool. I didn't kill him. Fuck. Oh. And he has a shotgun. Well, there goes, uh, there goes one of my tires, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one of my tires and a ton of my health on my car. <sighs> Almost got fucking busted there. Uh, Karuma, sure. Two stars for fucking stealing it, of course. Spawns are pretty good. Oh, this one's like all the way up. I thought it would be like here somewhere. This is not good. They're all gonna despawn by the time I get down there and I'm gonna fail. Unless they just keep spawning here. In which case, I'll take it. I'll get over this. These ones are spawning, uh, despawning. So I just need to keep going for the northern ones. Fucking three stars for killing one guy. Yeah, I failed. Rob, I've got to ask you, what is the fucking deal with the wanted levels? They make no sense. At all. I don't get it. Like, I steal a car, I get two stars. I run over one guy, and I get three stars. Like, what the fuck? It's such bullshit. Like, I get nine, and the only reason I failed was because I kept getting fucking shit on by cops. Some missions, the cop sensitivity is up. No, 
Unless you've put the chaos multiplier by like 10 times by mistake, this isn't working as that you intended it. Because there have been literally some times where I get two stars, which is fine, right? So I'm at the base level of two stars, and then I run over one fucking cop and I get three. That is impossible. Unless you have like 10 times chaos point multiplier, you should never get three stars from killing a cop. Like, you need like a thousand chaos points or something daft to get from two stars to three. Like, how do you get that from one fucking run over? You only get two stars from running over a cop normally. It's more complicated than that. It's actually bugged how it works. I made a video on it a couple of years ago. Sometimes you can get one star and sometimes you can get two stars. And the, the way it works is that you get an X amount of chaos points for killing a cop just by default. And it's intended to give you one star. But if the cop like die, dives, like, you know, gets alerted and then you run him over, he reports his own death, which causes you to get more chaos points than you're intended to. And it pushes you over the, uh, over the threshold to get um, two stars instead of just one. But it's obviously not intended that a dead cop reports his own death just before he dies. I'm gonna pay and spray because I think I've got time. Just to be safe and repair my car. Because otherwise I'm gonna lose it. You see, this is way easier now. I'm just not getting screwed by cops. That's everything for Kenji. Uh, Rob, whereabouts are these uh, off-road missions? I said I'd do them after Kenji's. One is at the stadium and the other is beside it. Okay. Stadium. Oh, it's actually open. Okay. Uh, vehicle? There's a bribe star in here. Oh, yes. Look at that. How do I get to it? Ugh. 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 All right, we're going around. Huge. Look at this little thing. Oh yes, Luigi Kart Stadium. 20 checkpoints. Oh, it is time-based. Okay, I guess this is like the new multi-story mayhem. Oh my god, this, this thing's fucking zoomy. Oh, I've got like no seconds. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is scary. I'm going. Oh god, I'm going so fast. Oh no. Get back on track. This way. No. Fuck. Okay, round two. <laughs> this is so sensitive to drive. Holy fuck. All right, all right, this <laughs> is easy second try. Here we go. Ooh, like you have no time to like really think about what you're doing. You just gotta do it. Okay, this one, this one. Yep, yep, kind of, yep. That one, that one, don't flip. Okay, good, that one. That one. Slalom run. Oh shit. Dude, it's so fast. I need to slow it down. I'm gonna fucking piss myself. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. 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 Let's go. 40 grand. Holy moly. Yo, I kinda wanna, s can I keep this? Put it in a garage or something? Cause it's, it's legit so fast. It's really hard to drive, but it's so quick. Yeah, dude, I want it. Like, it's hard to drive, but this would be so useful for certain things. Uh, 
Was that a stunt jump? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, stunt jump. So the other one, you said the other one's just next to it? Whereabouts next to it? Which side? Oh my god, it's heavy too. Holy shit, you can fuck up cars with it too. And it's like unflippable, that's sick. Oh my god, look how fast it is! Oh my god, that's nuts! <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me get it into a garage and save, and then I'm gonna send it just down the street and see how fast I can go. But I wanna save it first in case I lose it. Luigi Kart. Wait, what does it say on the side? Sex Club? Oh, Sex Club 7. Nice, dude. Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. Holy fuck, it's so quick. Look at this. This has to be the fastest car in the game. <laughs> and you legit can't flip it. It's so fast. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, dude. All right, enough pissing about. Well, uh, we'll keep that for the rainy day. All right, let's go and do the other one. So you said it's near the stadium, on the way to Shoreside, near the water. Let's go and have a look. God, you're having fun again. Yeah. All my previous pain and suffering was solved by uh, Luigi Car. Okay, so there's a land stalker here, apparently, somewhere. That usually isn't there. I heard it. It's concerning me that this is facing out towards the ocean. Shipwrecked. Quickly collect 12 checkpoints around the shipwreck. Wait, I'm supposed to ju Oh my fucking god, no. So this is the uh, this is the uh, the modified walk in the park or whatever ride in the park. You want me to jump over there? Okay. In a land stalker. Okay. Yep, that went about as well as expected. Uh, now what? Yo, check this. Ooh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Whew. All right. Uh, round two. <laughs> That jump is uh, is not going to be the easiest jump I've ever done. These are really cool, though. These are really cool conceptually. Really cool missions. Big fan. Especially Luigi Kart. All right. Let's try this again. Maybe coming at it straight, it's probably a bit better. More like this. Ugh! Yeah? Uh, no! <sighs> Bro. I, I can't move. Oh, shit. I can't. I don't think I can jump this. Just by default. Uh, how do I get back? <laughs> I can I can make that? Oh, yeah, easy. <laughs> On a package! That's such a cool package location. That's so that's so sick. Oh, never mind. Proximity penalty. Ne never mind. Never mind. I think the Shoreside Off-Road mission will be your favorite. Okay, I'll hold you to that. I'm so excited to see you do it. I'm, you guys make me excited for this kind of shit. Unironically, right? Even though I know I've been a bit of a whiny crybaby this this uh this afternoon um it does unironically make me like uh what's the word gratified i guess that like so many people were like excited to see me play this you know it, it's like i don't know how to describe it but it's like the fact that a lot of people are like excited like something comes out and that their first or at least one of their thoughts Maybe not their first thought, but, you know, 
some subsequent thought in the sequence of thinking that they do is like, oh, I can't wait to see, you know, me. Can't wait to see me play it. That's very cool. Anyway, back to passing this mission. <coughs> anyway, guys. Bro, this jump is impossible. All right, new plan. Do it, but don't hit it straight. Hit it like to the left so then I land. I wanna land like here and then I can reverse back to it. Cause I, ha I have more room here to not flip. But yeah, this shit's hard. Okay. This way. Fuck, man. I need to switch from Night Dev. Because, yeah, like, Night Dev doesn't show, like, seven TV emotes or anything. And it doesn't look like it's going to be updated to do so anytime soon. Oh! Let's go! Just got to go slow. Okay. Progress. Where are the next ones? Here. So if anyone knows any good, uh, like, chat browser source things, so I can have chat on screen, but also have it with, uh, with what's it called? Is there one down there? There is, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, let me know. That also spot 7 TV. Please. Thanks. Eh. This is a horrible idea. No, why did I do this? Fuck. Ugh. I should have just gone round. I'm so... I'm such a lazy bastard. I could have just driven round. Ah, Fucking hell. So yeah, the final one is this. So I have to go up the ramps, come back down, and then... Yeah. I had all the time in the world to do that. Fuck. Alright, slower. Ugh. Nope. Okay. Aha! We're on. Team, not to panic you, but we're on. Uh, grab this one. Don't beef this, whatever you do, Ben. No pressure, but if you fail this, the whole world is watching. And remember how they treated you last time. They all laughed at you. Every single one of them. Package there, but I can't get it. Okay. Where do I jump from? It's just this one, right? <sighs> Please, Lord. No! Uh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> no! Why didn't I just check? I had the time to just check my angle. Like, that was fine. I just had a... Just didn't... Wasn't facing the right way. The higher one had a better trajectory. It didn't matter. Like, I could have just done it from there. Literally, all I had to do was just look at the right angle. 
Ah, oh, fuck me. At least this time it shouldn't be so hard. I mean... I just need to fucking get there again. No, mine, it's easy. GG, I've already won. VOD friends, skip forward, I've already won. All right, we need a we need a quite a big angle for it. Oh, the box is blocking me actually for that angle. Yeah, maybe this is better. Hold on. Shit, now I'm panicking. Oh fuck, I'm really panicking. I just need to go. Just go. Go. No. <laughs> Oh, that time I went too slow. Fuck. I'm falling through the floor, through, through the ground. All right, don't, don't piss about punch. You could do it back to back before, do it back to back now. Nice. I'm somehow getting better at that jump, even though I have no idea how. See, originally I was under the impression that I would have to go off that ramp because I didn't know there was one all the way down. Okay. Yeah, there's just no way I'm making that right. Not with that barrier in the way. I have to do it this way. Oh fuck, that's so hard. Unless I do it, like, this way? Yeah, maybe like this? Go! Yes! I don't care if I'm dead. I won. Me! I won! I'm the fucking best. Easiest game of my life. I've legit never failed a mission ever. And now we can finally continue on with the, uh, now we've done, like, all the side missions in fucking Staunton. We can finally actually progress with the missions. Well, the main missions, you know what I mean. Paparazzi Purge. Forced Fog, brilliant. He's already driving off. Oh, you little prick, come back here. His marker disappeared, I can't see him. Where are you? Oh, what? Oh, he's running away. Oh shit. Get him. Go Claude. Faster. Go. Get his ass. He stole a car! You bastard. If I'd have known, <laughs> I would have just stayed. Oh, he's made a grave mistake. Oh, my friend. Oh, my friend. Oh, my friend. Oh, oh, look at this poor guy. Oh, how embarrassing. Ow. Yo, these guys can beat him up. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> hey, I didn't even kill him. I didn't even kill him. They did. A hundred quid to anyone who would have predicted how that mission would have been passed. Bean to cop. Is this payday for Roy? This will be interesting because this is an impossible mission otherwise. I'm going south. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? There's a fucking <laughs> espresso to go stand now. Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. Okay. 
I did not have a lot of time for this at all. Ugh! Ugh! Die! I didn't kill him. I do not have a lot of time. Just gotta try and ram my way through it and go. Go! Wait, what? Huh? Oh, uh, I think I got this soft lock. Yeah. This happens in the original too. If you... If you get like moved out of the zone when you're answering the call, it doesn't like count. And yeah, use soft lock. Yeah, I don't know what messed me up. It might have been the bumper that I hit. It might have been something else, but yeah. yeah I've seen that one before. It's a vanilla issue. Gonna need a faster car, no? That was nothing to do with the car. I was doing fine before that, I'm pretty sure. And there isn't really that many other better options that are faster than uh, Banshee. There's only really like... Infernus and Cheetah, I think that's like it. Okay, I could use the Luigi cart. Yeah. But I imagine this is very doable with a Banshee. Like, if I just drive well and don't mess up. But doing this with Luigi cart would be quite funny, actually. So I'm kind of tempted to go and grab it. But it'd also be really hard to, like, traverse around everything. I wonder if I can just tank these guys, because they don't really attack me much. They only have Uzis. Oh no, that guy kind of fucks me up there when I'm putting the thing down. Yeah, never mind. That was dumb. He shoots you, like, as you gain control. Well, when you don't have control in the cutscene. I might soft lock again here, because of the corpse. Alright, last one. I should have time. Ow. Alright. One more Azuka's mission to do. That's, uh... That's missable, so we'll do that before we go and do Ray. In the original, this is kind of a pain in the ass because um, you get like four stars the second you touch him. So I wonder what's different here. I'm always apprehensive when the mission is already a pain in the ass. Security car, okay. I guess that means I... I can't, you know, just like rocket them or anything. I assume they're like bulletproof, etc. Oh, I mean, I can do damage. Four stars is normal. I mean, doing quite a lot of damage to them. Huh. Is the health bar just not accurate? Oh. Right. Okay. Ah! He almost fucking... Almost, almost just pushed me into the ocean. Annoying fucking cops as always. Uh, I'm brain magnificent. Yeah, 
that. Yeah. I can't move. I guess I could paint spray. But man, the amount of fucking trips I have to take to this bastard paint spray doing these missions is crazy. Like, he can just keep driving about. I don't think I fail if I go too far. I wonder if I get another four star wanted level if I attack him again. Or if it's just once. I don't know. Normal you do. Or you get another wanted level. Fucking hell. I can't even attack it because I get fucking knocked over. Yeah. Four stars again immediately. Fun. So what am I supposed to do? Like, is he even taking damage? I can't even tell. There's no way to know. There we go. It just takes a long ass time. Back to the pain spray, guys. <sighs> Alright, now we can progress again. Do you reckon it's uh, worth blocking the the entrance for this? From the cafe. I can imagine it's probably gonna do nothing, but I may as well do it. It takes like two seconds. An armored patriot. Armored how? Is it bulletproof? I think I've lost him. Oh, his markers disappeared. Yeah. Uh, back to four stars again. Hey guys. It's time to go to the pay and spray again. What a fun and interesting gameplay loop. I'll repark the blister just because it gives me more time. All right, it's two up from the grenades. Well, that didn't work. Oh, it did. Nice. Hey guys, five stars. Time to go to the pay and spray again. Imagine using pay and spray instead of just loading a save. Yeah, let's just get rid of my cheater for no reason. Great plan. What's your opinion on the mod so far? Um, Staunton, Port Portland is very good. The end of Portland and the start of Stortland is really poor. Like the quality takes like a really big dive, but it's not anything that can't be fixed. But yeah, it's being patched like every day. So I, I fully expect most of my issues to be fixed within, you know, a couple of weeks at the latest.
Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more. I thought there'd be more of you. Okay, there's no rockets, no armor. Okay. Oh, Phil follows me. Okay. The cops must have followed the cartel here. Phil is already dead. Brilliant. Alright, I'm gonna need a bit more prep for this. Rockets would be brilliant, but I don't have any. Because I lost them due to a bug earlier, I think. See, the question is, is I... I so, the question is, the thing is... Is I can definitely survive. My problem is getting Ray to survive. Like, could I, like, run him out of the compound, maybe? Get him to, like, somewhat safety? And then take everyone on? Because, like, standing there, just getting, like, assaulted from all angles is a terrible idea. That will never work. Um, I'll go to ammunition. I'll make a save. So now I have a save with a fast car, full health, full armor, etc. Nice. My fast car despawned. Never mind. I won't have full armor. And I won't have a fast car. Lol. Do you remember those things that I wanted? Never mind. Because obviously random gangs are a fun mechanic. So, yeah. Really fun, fair, and balanced. The fucking... Armored Patriot might be useful with this. It's fast, too. Alright, so my first thing would be... Get in this car and just drive Phil away. Because he follows me now instead of just standing there fighting. So I think I should be able to get him in this and drive away. To like a somewhat safe place and then just fight them one by one. I want to go, I want to back up and go this way. All right, Phil, come with me. Yeah. Okay, let's fight like here. This should be more reasonable. Phil's already dead. Never mind. Okay, so I guess I need to stay in the car because otherwise Phil is just dead. Because there isn't really anywhere I can, like, make him stand. He's just going to follow me. Yeah, I'll just stay in the Patriot and just, you know, drive by people or whatever. Because then Phil should be somewhat safe as long as I'm safe. Put Phil inside a garage. Yeah, that could work. This guy's on the roof as well. Let's see how well this works. Nope. Even an armored patriot isn't enough. Well. Clearly not very armored, is it? If it can only eat 700 bullets, it's kind of pathetic. Where can I stall Phil that he doesn't fucking die? What if I can just leave? And just let them kill each other? I'll go and pain spray and come back and see what happens. Now let's go back and have a look. Because now I can just like snipe them, right? I could even do it up here, actually. Yeah. I can just kill them. Look, they're all just grouped up. Now this is some cheese. Who's shooting me? What the fuck? Where did he come from? 
Phil saved my ass. Where are the rest of them? I think they're like just over there. Yeah. Easy. Nice. Up there, Sleevy's outfit. I get that reference. Anyone else get that reference? Do I need anything from here? I guess M16 would be good. And some rockets. But I don't want to spend too much money. Definitely an M16. Let's get some rockets. I want to get five for now. But I'm going to go and save. And then I'll conserve my weapons. Obviously if I die and stuff. Rather than buying them and instantly fucking losing them like an idiot. What's the next mission? Oh, evidence dash. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to this. Mind blowing evidence. Oh God. I wonder why it's called mind blowing evidence. Prosecution has dropped the evidence and an explosive barrel. I don't want to know what happens if I touch the barrel. All the cop does and gets me killed. Thanks, officer. Great job, man. I think in the original, you only get the wanted level once as well. So I could even try like... I could even try dodging the wanted level and then just doing this like one-on-one -on -one afterwards. Jesus, that's fucking risky. Yeah, I might just build a pain spray now and be fine, but it's not likely, I don't think. Are they really driving all the way across to Portland? They are. Since when can they even do that? Drive all the way to Portland. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure in the original it refuses to do that. I'm pretty sure it just double backs on itself if it does. If it goes near the bridge. But not this time. It's actually a neat passing. Is it? It's just annoying when it's so far away. Why is it not moving? The car is a decoy? What? And then the barrels just teleport out and it's all the way back at Staunton? Is that a joke? It really made me drive all the way here just to fucking waste my time. Yeah, I know the car being a decoy is is usually a thing there it's like if it if it uh, like blows up then it's like oh the car's a decoy and it's a, you get another one but yeah that car was fine it just wasn't moving but sure oh, it gives me three stars so it just gives me a scaling wanted level which is awesome Two out of three, baby. Let's go. And nice. Can't even see where this guy is right now. Yeah. Cop just fucking rams me into the fucking guy. Makes him drop the barrel and then rams into the barrel as well. How anyone is ever going to even attempt to speed one of this is beyond me. Every mission is a coin flip. I think, I think without the police this would be fine. 
Or if you're going to give a wanted level, just give the two stars that the game normally gives. Because the modern route replays now. Still there. It just calls you a cheater if you use them. How did that go off? I didn't even touch it. How am I already on fire? Time to go and paint spray again, guys. Aren't you excited? I am. Yeah, the paint spray stocks are through the roof like fucking GameStar. Yep, that was fun. I deserve to lose my car there, guys. God, I love randomness. It's so cool. Hogging right now. Mm. Can I drive forward, please, game? Oh, thanks. Are you guys ready to pay and spray again? I am. I love pain spray. Oh, that's a shame. I was having fun driving my car, but now I'm not allowed to do that. Because of the cops. The best way to hit it is head on by the looks of it, because if I try and hit it from behind, the thing just smacks me immediately. And from the side is kind of risky as well. Unless I like go like this and immediately dodge, but it's risky. Oh nice, I didn't get a wanted level for that one. Does it only give me two sets of stars? And now I'm just good to go? I'm scared. I don't want to do it when it's moving lanes like that. I'm trying so hard to just clip it and immediately drive out the way, but it's hard when it's just driving all the way around the road. How did that not count as a hit? Bro. Just let the barrels go off. Don't take any risk. I'm also going to wait for him to be off this road because he can potentially drown and I'll fail the mission if I ram him off the road here. Oh, uh, well, speaking of... <laughs> speaking of him killing himself. Awesome. Reminder that that fail condition is fucking bullshit and should be removed, by the way. Another random fail condition that you can't really control. But yet, if you blow it up, you don't fail. It just spawns in a new one. But if it drowns, you fail. Like, make it make sense. It should either do both or neither. Yeah, the ev evidence got destroyed. Also, your objective, destroy the evidence. Mission failed. Fucking stupid. Are you guys ready to pay and spray again? I am. We literally got into a position where we didn't have to do the boring stuff again, and then the mission bugs out. I'm gonna try and speed this attempt up, and I'm gonna try and get both wanted levels at once. I'm going to try and get two stars and then three stars and then pain spray. Never mind, I'm going to drive straight into the barrel. That's what I'm going to do. That's my first um, objective. 
I'm going to, you know, do the thing that I'm not supposed to do. Well, usually he's confined to Staunton, Sweet Ballers Corporation, but apparently in this it's bugged and he can drive to Portland, but he shouldn't be able to. That's not normal. By any means. Right. Let's see if we can grab this one. And then pay and spray the three stars away so we can save a trip. Unless this guy is just going to keep trolling me and driving around in circles. Which he's going to keep doing. Yep. Now we can pay and spray. Alright, we saved a pay and spray trip, so we should be good now. But again, like, I can fail this mission in a million ways, and most of them are not my fault. Alright, just gotta do that three more times. Easy, right? Bullets. Doesn't help that the hit registration for hitting him is fucking crap. Always has been. Dangerously close to the ocean, but that's really bad. I'm very lucky I didn't just get hit there. Okay, last one. I'm gonna wait until he goes away from that this road to stop him, hopefully drowning himself. How that doesn't count is beyond me. For God's sake. Fucking traffic. Four stars. Just get me out. Just, yes. Leave it. Just survive. Thank fucking god. Jesus H. Christ. Can you stop? Get the car, man. You guys ready to pain spray again? I'll do plaster bluster. And then I'll call it, I think. So I've played this for like, what, seven hours today? Oh, gone fishing. We'll do gone fishing and plaster blaster. Assuming they're not too AIDS, that is. But these missions usually aren't super difficult. Oh, what a song. Cops have been tipped off. Get to the lighthouse and rub out Ray's partner. But of course, the cops have been tipped off. Why wouldn't they be? This guy's just fucking griefing me. 
I'm deliberately going wide because I'm going to drop a barrel and blow my ass up. I'm pretty sure he drops like explosive barrels. Pretty sure he also gets out or something. Oh fuck. Yeah, speaking of. I look at him die though. drive into my crosshairs so you can go for it. Look at this insane pathing. Nice one. Nice. Easy enough. Alright, plaster blaster time. What's the difference between this and toughened? It's just a different take on like the the toughened genre, if that makes sense. Like, it's the same theories, but this one does a lot of different stuff. Like, it implements entirely new missions, and it edits all the missions instead of just the, the mandatory ones. And it adds new outfits, and, you know, new interiors, new cars. Like, this one is just more, a lot more well-made. Alright. Expanded cast. Accurate damage bar, you say? Interesting. Takes up half my fucking screen. Oh my god. It just goes completely off the screen, okay. <clears throat> I mean, for all we know, it might actually be accurate. You guys love pain spraying? I do. This might also reapply my wanted level. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Didn't have enough time. Um, Okay, just get out and shoot it. M16 would be very good, but I'm scared I'm gonna blow it up too fast and spawn in a new one. No, we can try it. Why not? I bought an M16 for a reason. I should be more liberal with it. Wow. It, it's just tanking full on damage. Can I just not shoot this thing or what? Is there any collision damage that it takes? What the fuck? Smash his body cast with a vehicle. One of them has a shotgun. What the fuck? Look at that. He has bodyguards. With shotguns. That's nuts. That is brilliant. Hey buddy. There we go. Got him. We got him, gamers. His cast mates. Brilliant. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll probably see you tomorrow, if not tomorrow. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, right, I need to go and complete some Donald love missions. How exciting. Okay. Uh, go Jack, a Colombian gang car, so you can infiltrate the hard out. Okay, that's normal. Uh, 
Uh, this guy won't bust me up. Good. Alright. Hey, buddy. Oh, hello. Uh, this is new. I can hear more people. Hello. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, buddy. Ow. It's really annoying peeking to the left because I can't, like, yeah, I get shot before I can even, like, aim at people. This guy's shooting me through the wall. I assume there's another one. Yeah, I figured there would be. Ugh. Ow, what the fuck? Oh, there's two of them. There's three. Oh my god. Little hackers. Package. Hello? These fucking shotgun guys. Like, they shoot you before you can even have a chance to aim at them. Oh, hello. Get him out. Get him out in one piece. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. More guys. Don't get stuck on the boxes, please. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Well, that's just a call. Four stars? Bro. Shouldn't have killed that cop. Alright, uh, let's try and get to the pain spray. It's just down the road. You guys ready to pay and spray again? I'm gonna keep making this joke every single time to labor the point deliberately. Let me quickly uh, heal. No, I don't want a license, man. Cheers. Just need a bit of else. Alright, after this mission, I'm gonna store this car, because I think I'm probably gonna need it. And obviously, I'm gonna need it, like, probably more than once, because, you know, I'm probably going to die on this next mission at some point. Like, it's pretty rare I first try missions. I, I first tried this one, but I did almost die. Because of those shotgun guys that are just hitting around every corner. Off you pop, so I'm getting there. At least they're not M16 guys, true. Uh, which would be worse? I mean, M16 guys are pretty... Pretty brutal. But in terms of, like, you know, one-hit damage, shotguns are the worst, right? Because the, the shotguns do, like, what? Like, 40 damage or something ridiculous? Went from, from close range? Whereas, like... By the time you shoot someone with an M16, it's very unlikely they'll do that much damage to you. Obviously, if they're 100% accurate, then yeah, they'll just laser you down in two seconds from full health. But if they have their default accuracy, I don't know if it would even be worse. Thing is that G like vanilla GTA 3 with default accuracies, they barely touch the M16 at all, really. Like, there's only a couple of M16 guys at all. Like, what can I even think of? There's like that one guy on Grand Theft Auto, maybe a few in the hangar that have M16s. Aside from that, there isn't really that many. A couple in, obviously, in the last mission, but... Yeah, I mean... It's not really... A huge threat. Because you can just pick them off from distance, whereas, like, point-blank shotguns are really scary. Now, this mission is pretty brutal by default, so... Let's see what it's like, usually. Also, uh, nobody look. I'm cheating. I saved a whole second of your time there. You're welcome. Good to Fort Staunton and steal a combo and get a car. Okay, good thing we still need this. Get to the car park in Torrington and whack Kenji. Okay. Oh wait, is this a different place? It is, I think. Different car park. Okay. Is it underground? Under here? Ah, okay. Um, I feel like if I drive in here, I'm just gonna get massacred, right? Yeah. Call 
Instant false to us then. Oh, ow. Okay. Anyone else? So Kenji's like chilling over there. These guys are... Okay. Fuck it, let's just go for it. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Easy. Oh, I killed all the witnesses. What? Oh, fuck. You're not supposed to kill everyone. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, take two. Just gotta kill everyone and leave those guys that are facing the wall. Because they don't attack me, right? So, there's no reason for me to kill them. I wanted to kill them for safety, but... All right, easy. Dump the car back in cartel territory. Okay, so I can't just dump it wherever. I can't see. Go up. Oh, I got my fucking tire popped, brilliant. Okay, so I need to drive up to Fort whatever in rain with my tire popped and with four stars. Brilliant. Lots of fun. Okay. Dump the car. Nice. 50k. Car, please. Are you guys ready to pain spray again? I am. I love pain spray. Hmm, yes. Thank you, officer. I would have loved to pain spray my vehicle, but unfortunately, I can't. Uh, I have four health and everything. I don't need to save. I'll just go. Drop in the ocean time. Damn, I only have 50 seconds. Okay. Uh, I don't have a fast car, so rip. Is the port in... Oh, I guess the fucking thing is in Portland. Yeah. Makes sense. Kind of intended to go to Portland, usually. Is there a boat down there? I, I can't see. Well, the thing's already coming down. Yep, I wish I could just stop flipping and drive. That would be cool. I am not making this in a million years. I need a fast car. Alright, we can use this. This is this is good. Because it's fast. And it's armored, I think. So. Yeah, this is really fast. This is probably faster than like most sports cars, to be honest. Maybe not as fast as like an Infernus, but it has way better acceleration. And it might even be faster. I don't know. It feels faster. But I don't think it is. I, I think it has a lower top speed, but way faster acceleration. Which makes it feel faster when you're driving. Alright. Let's try this again. We'll go to Zuka's docks as usual. Alright. Uh, I don't know which dock to go on. This one? Well, they both had boats. So. Just plug in pedals. True. And a steering wheel. Uh, Ghost is probably my best bet. Alright. Where's the boat? And where's the plane? Is the plane in the usual place? I can't see it because of the fog. Oh, it's already dropping packages. Fucking hell. There's one. Everyone keep an eye out for packages. Shit, they're this way. Done. The next one's to the right. I didn't miss one, did I? I think I'm fine. Four, five, yeah, I'm good. Is it gonna give me six stars? Of course it is. Oh dear. Six fucking stars, you say? There is two stars. 
Good stuff. Alright, time to avoid some tanks. Luckily, the pain spray is nearby, but six stars is pretty ass. Hello, guys. Depending on the spawns that you get, sometimes six stars can be easier than five. Just because six stars spawns way less stuff in general. Alright. You guys love pain spraying? I love pain spraying. Alright. Fairly easy mission. I feel like there might be something else to it. Ah, yes. I love randomly getting my tires popped. That's so fun, dude. Spinning out because question mark. Also, getting a wanted level because someone rams into me. So stupid. Ah, yeah. Just park in the middle of the road, guys. It's fine. I feel like the tail end of Donald's missions may not go down too well. Great. <laughs> Good amount of forewarning, I guess. Because I'm going to be doing them soon. I'm just going to get out. Alright, so we should have unlocked Marked Man now, I think. Yes, yeah, so I want to go and do Marked Man first. Before we do Grand Theft Auto, but we've unlocked Shoreside now. VIP 2, a very impatient policeman. Okay. See, I have the bridge. Two minutes. Okay, that's not a lot of time. So they, they have the bridge, tunnel, and subways under surveillance. Find another route across. So if the bridge is under surveillance, the tunnel is under surveillance, and the subway... Does that mean that my only choice is to fly over? Huh. Or a boat, I guess. There's a marker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Ray, I'm sorry. Come back. Yeah, there's blue text and a blue marker. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I have my armored car because they were shooting me like through the fucking bridge. All right, cheeky backflip for the boys. Nice. GTA 3 physics really, uh, really, really coming out strong here. All right. Hello. How do I get down here? What the fuck? Ray, jump down. Ray. Ray. Come on, come on, Ray, lad. You can get over. Fucking hell, Ray. How do I get up? Oh, you have to go, like, all the way around here. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought he would, like, teleport to me. Ray, you penis. Come on, it can't be that hard. Alright, try again. Because we don't have time to go around, Ray. Fuck you, Ray. Oh, yeah, let's go, Ray. Huge. Wait, there's no fucking... There's no boat here. I came all the way here expecting there to be a boat. Do we have to go onto the ship? The, the marker is clearly on this jetty, no? Like, why is the minimap fucked here? Ray, I'm so sorry I made you launch off that building. Where do I go? There's nothing there. What the fuck? Where is that marker supposed to be? Fuck, that means I've got to jump across here. Oh, shit. That, we all know how difficult that fucking jump is. From earlier. Oh, excuse me. Ow. Well... Uh, this is going to be more difficult now. Hold up, hop tire. Brilliant. Okay. Here, here goes nothing, guys. Ugh. Yep. 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 Let's go. 
Yeah, good enough. Okay, now what? Like, I'm here, now what? Like, the marker is, like, on top of this? I'm literally right on top of the marker and there's nothing here. Uh, am I supposed to ramp over to Shoreside? Where the f- What? Where is Ray? He's teleported, like, across the map. What the fuck? <laughs> He's teleported, like, all the way over here somewhere. Look at the map. Why? Add one to the tally, guys. Missions failed due to things that aren't my fault. Okay, lesson learned. Don't abandon Ray to try and figure out what you're supposed to be doing because you'll just fail the mission. But now I get it. I'm pretty sure I do. Was that Ray or was that the airport? The airport marker isn't there when Ray isn't with you. Ray's marker is green. The airport is pink, as you can see. Ray just decided to teleport. They popped my tire again. Like, if I get my pi tire popped, I'm just fucked. Because it slows me down so much, I don't even think you can make it. With a pop tire. And the jump is significantly harder as well. Like, it just cripples any chance of you beating the mission. And it's completely random. There's nothing I can do about it to prevent it. Like, those guys should not be fucking shooting me from the bridge. Realistically. Yeah, and if I don't keep my car, I'm just fucked. Because there's no car here. Like, I can mega jump across, but Ray can't. So I need to keep my car as well. Because I need to go off here. And Ray just teleports away in a second. It happens every single time. He's gone again. <sighs> yeah, I really don't have time to line up this jump. I've just got to fucking fling myself at it. But with a pop tire, it's like impossible to land. Yeah, GG. I can't believe I'm having to do this fucking crap jump in two different missions. And this one, I'm forced to do it with a pop tire every single time, pretty much. I wonder if the Luigi cart is two-seater. That might unironically be a good shout. Because it's a lot smaller. It is. I'm tempted to try and use that. It could, like, ironically be good. Because it's fast and it's nimble. Which is good. Hey, look. I got lucky. So now this mission will be significantly easier without a pop tire. Now I have a 1% success rate at this jump instead of zero. Good shit. Yep. Yeah. Time to play the lottery again. Fuck it, let's try the Luigi card. I think the little road under the building may avoid the C CIA entirely. The little road under the building? That's way too vague for me to know what you mean. Don't, aren't they shooting me from the bridge? I mean, I feel like I might be fine. With I'm going to see where they're shooting me from. Where are they shooting me from? Like, I'm not getting shot at all here now. But I was getting shot a second ago. Oh yeah, it's him. I could just kill this guy. If it's just that one guy, I could just fucking shoot him, to be honest. Like, with a sniper? Just fucking snipe him, problem solved. If it's just one bloke. But the fact that he's so accurate is kind of gross. Can I just snipe this guy? Yeah. 
There we go. Problem solved. But I'm losing time to stop that random thing from happening. Doing this. Which is annoying, but... I'm gaining time by using the Luigi cart, but fucking hell, look how sensitive it is. Ooh, dear. Yeah, I'm zooming, true. I am fucking zooming. I might be able to just jump all the way to Shoreside, to be honest. Like, being real. Like, the amount of fucking distance you get on this thing. And if and it's unflippable as well. I went a bit too far left there. But yeah, this is 100% the move. Because even if you flip it, it just flips back again. Why didn't I think of this before? Easy. Like, you only lose a few seconds shooting that guy. It's not too bad. It's 100% worth it. All right. Let's go, Raymond. Ugh! Uh, this might not be good. Get over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Let's go, let's go. No time to waste, Raymond. Go! Get your ass over there. Oh, it's a fucking stunt jump. <laughs> Fuck. I might have, like, massively overshot this. No, I think I'm good. No, I'm just gonna get... Stunt jump. Sick. Alright, I'm just gonna get to... Fuck, what's the quickest way to get to the fucking place? To the airport from here? Shit. Oh god, I'm panicking. I need to go up. Up. Onto the bridge. I need to go up here. And then... Yeah, that's the tunnel. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I need to go up here, I think. No, wait. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know the quickest way for Shoreside. I don't remember the routes. This isn't fast at all. I need I need to like look at a map and plan this out because driving driving in Shoreside is like a fucking maze. Like there's no easy way to get across. Yeah, I need to think about this. I need to get a map up. So Yeah, I come from here and I need to get there. So the easiest way is over the bridge. So I need to go down and round? No, because that's for the tunnel, right? Yeah, tunnel isn't worth it. So I need to go up the bridge here, up, across the slalom run, over the bridge and down. That's a fucking long, that's a long drive though. God damn. Like I have like 40 seconds to do that drive. That's not a lot of time at all. Yeah, Luigi Kart is definitely the way to go. It's just hard to drive quickly. Because <laughs> it's so sensitive. Let's go, Phil. Not Phil. Ray. You're, you're all the same. Close enough. God. I can't be afford to be sliding about, man. I don't have time. No! Just fucking stay on your wheels, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't have time to be dicking around like this. Okay. Just do the jump straight away. Don't even line it up. No time. Nice. That's way better. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Avoid the USJ. Oh, good enough. The quicker I hit the ground, the better. The quicker I cancel this shit and get my bearings. Okay, good. Let's go. Uh, up the bridge. Up here. Wait, no. Wrong fucking turn. See, it's so hard. This place is a labyrinth. It's this bridge. Yeah, spin out. Good job. 53 seconds. That's surely enough if I just don't spin out like a twat too much. This was a dumb way, but you can still go across. If I can just get on my wheels. Yeah, I don't have time. There's just no way. Like, the faster I drive, the more I just fucking spin out on every single corner. I've already used half my time, and I'm not even close to the... 
Is this a speedrun? You know in my title where it says first playthrough? Have you tried reading it? And I get my fucking tire popped by a random guy, so yeah. I'm not even close to making it, there's just no way. You can't go fast enough. It, so is the Luigi Kart even the way to go? Because you can't drive fast without just flipping. It goes way too fast for its own good. Alright, same again. Just straight down. Straight south. Oh, fuck's sake. No. I'm not going to make this again. Even if I cut across, I'm not making that. Fuck me. How the fuck do you make this? Like, I'm using such a fucking insanely fast car. There's a ramp of signs in the slalom area before the bridge looks like a shortcut. In the slalom area. Yeah, this is what you meant, I assume. Where is this supposed to take me? Up here? Oh, so you can like clip up to the bridge. But you're gonna need a ton of speed to even make that. But yeah, that would save quite a bit of time, I guess. So yeah, it saves like all of this plus this. But I'm gonna need some fucking six speed to get up there on the bridge on, in this. Because this is so slow. And what if I ever shoot it? Yeah, like, uh, I'm gonna go too fast and just launch myself over and then I'm fucked. Bruh. All right, so I need to just spin around and do a fucking 180 right there. Here we go. Go left. I have no idea if I'm good or not. Am I good? Oh, that's clean. Let's go. Go, go, go. 30 seconds, is that enough? I have no idea. Fuck, I'm, I'm shitting myself. Guys, don't watch. I can't look, oh God. Uh, uh, uh. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I don't want to cut across. I'm too scared. 10 seconds. All right, cut across now. No! Fucking piece of shit car! Go! Faster! Come on! Fucking shit! This fucking piece of shit car, it just fucking spins out constantly. That's such bullshit. That was like a perfect fucking jump. But I just spin out once and it's over. Fucking bullshit. It's the one I can feel it. I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, I didn't lose too much time, but that's fine. Oh, I'm overshooting, I think. Uh, it's really hard to tell. Uh, that's not as good, but maybe. If I just don't spin out. drive a bit better than last time. But there's nothing I can do. It's downhill. So I can't hit the brakes and stop myself from spinning out like that. Because you just go so fast. Yeah. And my tires get popped. But I might still make it actually somehow. <laughs> Never mind. I have no control over my vehicle. Fuck you. Like, how does that make it? 
that other one was like somehow even even faster. But I spun out so many times and I got my tires fucking popped and shit. I didn't actually get my tires popped. My tires are fine. What does that say? Quick, go over to the lockup and collect race stuff. Okay. Oh boy, guys, it's time to go in pain spray again. Yeah, I'm very excited to die and rage quit this mission forever. Actually, I'm, be I'm better off just going straight to Ray's lockup, to be honest. Nice. Because Ray's lockup is right here. And then I'll just finish the mission, problem solved. Let's get to it. There we go. Yeah. And now I've literally just got to survive. Which is easy enough to do. Is Luigi's cart collision proof? No. It's just very heavy. Which makes it like smash things out the way. Got a nice sort of ammo though. What does that say? I can't fucking see because the cops are there. Fuck off. My god. Sorry, Quad, Love Ray, XOXO. Okay, let's go install this again. Or get busted one or the two, because I can't stop flipping. Oh, yes, that was sick. On to... Uh, Grand Theft Auto Aero. Yeah, it basically is like a Beyblade, that thing. It feels so weird to drive a normal car now. You're in for a treat. Yeah, Rob said that apparently I'm really not going to like the end of Donald's Chain. Which just makes me feel like it's just going to be coin flip missions, which I'm not looking forward to. Beam me up, shotty. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this guy doing? I mean, to be fair, you should be able to fit through there. Oh, he's just coming at me. That's why. Okay, buddy. I can't get in. Uh, okay. Have it your way. Atlantic construction. Did I blow up that van? I did. Um, part of me wants to not take the dodo because I'm. I have a feeling I'm going to get shot down or something. So I'm going to drive back because I, I don't need the, the plane for this. It's like whatever this like modified thing is, ghost, I think. Oh, a Dia Diablo. This is mega shit. I thought this would be fast. Huh. These, uh, these walls are pretty high. <laughs> I 
I'm already getting shot at from somewhere. Hello. Ah, yes. Shotgun, Ben. That's a good plan. Shotgun is definitely what you should be using to fight these guys. Uh, I'm going to blaze up for safety. Yep. Oh, those guys like over here as well. I can hear someone somewhere. You want the chainsaw, Gringo? I'm going to kill you. Where? I'm going to kill you. You big soft Yankee boy. I guess they're on the other side. You want the chainsaw? You move. We got a 10A in Central Foot Stone. Am I good? Kind of. Uh, that looks like an escape route. Let's go there. Oh god. This is interesting. Hello. Hello. I can't hit that guy through that. Oh, there's a guy down here as well. Fuck! Claude, what in the fuck was that throw, man? You big soft Yankee boy. You dickhead, Claude. <laughs> I clicked because I thought he'd just throw it, not drop it right there. I thought he'd just throw it like a little bit. Am I forced to jump down? I guess so. What if I'm on like one HP here? Then I'm just screwed. I'm just forced to die. Did M16 always had tracers for bullets? No, that's a new thing in this mod. Like, almost all the guns have, like, tracers of some kind. Alright. Take the package back. I feel like I mentioned the health pickup. You should just make it so there's like a zone where when you land on it, it doesn't do damage to you like they do in SA. That would be my suggestion. Well, at the end of Toughen, there was a trap here where you would get insta-killed, so... Let's hope that's not here. That was fine. I was expecting that to be way worse with the way people were talking about it. Do you want the shoreside off-road now or later? Oh, true. Um, just tell me where it is. And I can try and figure out, you know, what would be the guess, best time to get it. Because I kind of forgot I need to, like, stay in uh, shoreside for a bit. Uh, shoreside Stanton. There's a warehouse, Tony's Pork Warehouse, next to Shoreside Hospital. Okay. Uh, when I'm in the neighborhood, I'll, I'll go and I'll go and check it out. But we'll do we'll do decoy and escort service for now. Escort service. You are a bat. Brilliant. It already has half damage. How? Or does it just start with half health, I guess?
I wonder if you can cheese this mission, because in the original, you can literally just leave it to drive and you'll just pass the mission. Because obviously if you're not near it, none of the guys will spawn. But I imagine that's not possible anymore. It is. Brilliant. This guy's just damaging himself. Sorry, boys. I don't remember where the rest of them spawn. Oh, that's just a guy that just spawned somewhere. Oh, they're just on the edges. Whoops. And oh, there's a guy here. Kill him! Fuck, I missed him. Oh, good enough. I knocked him over. Oh, their tires are popped. That's not good. Yeah. Sorry, boys. Oh, he goes through the tunnel, right? Yeah. I guess I can go ahead a bit and try and scout out. Oh, there's a guy up top. Fuck, I didn't see him. Sorry, he's still zooming through. Yeah, I'll try and go ahead and scalp the people who are shooting, because I'm pretty sure this guy's at the other side of the tunnel. Where does he come out? I think the, the airport? Ah, yes. Can I drive forward, please? Thank you. Like here? Or not? I could have sworn there was guys that like chart here. But I guess he has to be within a certain radius before they spawn. Oh, fuck, he's driving all the way the other way. Oh, shit. Uh, I might just go and show it like, the airport now. Give it a bit. Oh, no, he is coming down here. Okay, I need to get some distance then, because otherwise he's going to fucking die. He might already die. Because, yeah, I, I can't fight them now. There, there isn't enough time. I just have to, like, chill here. And hope he's fine. I didn't know he was coming down here. Are we good? I think we're good. I think that's the final bit where you can possibly take damage, right? It's up there. Or not. I think we're good. The question is, is can he get into his destination with pop tires? Hi guys. Nice. Easy. Uh, let's go and do the off-road mission. There's a warehouse. Tony's Pork Warehouse. Next to the hospital. Everyone keep an eye out for a warehouse called Tony's Pork Warehouse. Is this Tony's Pork Warehouse? Tony's Pork Warehouse. Look for an interior. Is it inside? Can you go in here? Oops. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> this is... Wait, this is from... <laughs> this is fucking the, the Pro Skater 1 warehouse level. Yo, that's so sick. <laughs> Not sure what it's doing in a restaurant, but that's sick. Oh, look, another Luigi cart. Tony's Pork Warehouse. Collect all the checkpoints. That's sick. Timer will start immediately with no combo run out. Damn. Alright, two minutes. Let's go. That's so sick, man. Gotta go up the quarter pipes.
Over here. Over here. Over here. I thought you might like this one. Yeah, this is really cool. Very cool. Thank you, Rob. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, right oh, I missed it. Yeah. Almost. Third time's a charm. Easy. Ugh. Who put the ambulance there? How inconsiderate. That oh, shit. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, almost. Budget soy. I'm budget sighing right now, I can't lie. Ugh. Alright. Gotta floor it a bit for this one. Ugh. Nice dude. Sick. What what skateboarders do you know that can do a double backflip on flat ground? None of them, that's right. Alright, let's go and Let's go install this in Shoreside, why not? We can have one Luigi cart for each safe house. Huge. Alright, then just decoy and then we're on to uh then we're on to Shoreside. How exciting. Alright. Stick. Alright. Uh, let's do some dinghy missions while we're here. Why not? Phone missions. Not my wheels. Not so oozy money. Yo, this is D -ice. Yo, D-Ice. Get a vehicle, remember? Only oozy drive-by count counts kill. Okay. Ice 20 purple nines in 1 minute 30 seconds. Okay. Just less time. Out of the core. Any purple lines in the chat? There we go. That's a idea. I do spawn new ones, bro. Yeah, the briefcase is the wardrobe, yeah. Bro, I don't have time. Get out the way. Fucking move. Oh my fucking god. Mmm, a random spawn making me fail the mission. How fun. As always. Guess we're trying this one again, lol. Instantly tire popped. So fun. So fair and balanced and fair and balanced. Ah, yeah, 700 fucking. 700 purple nines. Uh, 700 red nines, even. I could really use the Armored Patriot for this. I really could. It would make this far easier. Mm. Mm. Ah, and of course that guy with the fast car just kills himself. Sorry, I didn't want to switch vehicles anyway guys, it's all good. Fuck no. I'm 
just gonna set on fire here, I think. And fail again. Unless I can get some lucky spawns, which I do. Never mind, I'm smurfing. Can you stop? Like, I've passed the mission, I'm still getting screwed by random pens. Nothing changed. You have less time. I don't know what else. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Armored trucks won't be on the street forever. Get to them before their shift ends. Okay. Three minutes. Do these guys also just have a random uh, a random pattern as well? Because this mission can take like five minutes just based on luck. Because the cars can just drive all the way in the tunnels and fuck you over. And there's not exactly a lot you can do about it. Is this one down there? If so, I'm fucked. It might be down all the way at the bottom near the dam. Or it's actually at the dam, I think. No, it is down here. Fuck me. Hey, buddy. Well, I'm already low on time now, because... That guy decides to be fucking right there. This guy I can probably catch, though. These two are in good positions. Oh, these are really good positions. Wow. Never mind, he's below me. I thought this guy was on this street, but nope. All right, I can catch this guy, I think. Yeah, I should be able to catch him. A minute to catch this guy. He's down here somewhere. I think he's driving away from me, which is bad. I know he isn't. I don't think so, actually. Where is he? He better not be in the tunnels. I'm going to be so upset. He's all the way up here? No way. I oh, know, he's just chilling here. No, he's in the tunnel, I think. Yeah, he's in the tunnel. Cool, it's over. Because you can't possibly know where he is, if he's in the tunnel or not. Unless I can get really lucky and catch him. No, I just blow up randomly. Cool. Minus one buggies left. Nice, dude. Yeah. Good to know that this mission is also a huge coin flip. Because if they go into the fucking tunnel, you're just screwed. But this is he's nowhere to be seen. Completely hidden. Fun... Fun, fun, fun. Then this guy's down here again. Hey, Simon, thanks. This guy is down here. Okay. Maybe I can get lucky and go for this guy before he, uh, he goes into the tunnel. What is it with people asking stupid questions while being rude? The way it is sometimes. Nice. Alright. Car and bomb torture. CBT. Good. Alright, what am I doing with this? I've got two minutes. Get to the garage, but watch out. If the car takes too much damage, it will blow. I'm already all the way to detonation because I got shot at by some random guy. Awesome, thanks man. I, I'm I'm dead. <laughs> that was fair. I had like two seconds to figure out what I was doing before I was insta-killed by random gangs. Can you do like a really cool mega jump here? You can like jump from here all the way down. Let me try this. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait hold on. Yeah, see, I'm nuts. Look at me go. I mean, nobody saw that. 
What garage do I have to get to? Is it the same garage in Portland? Like two and a half minutes is so fucked up. I should get a fast car before I before I attempt this. It's in St. Mark's. St. Mark's. You want me to drive to St. Mark's with two minutes on the clock and if I get like shot once, the mission's over. Uh, fucking. Like, I'm. Uh, uh, like, what am I supposed to do there? Like, this is a prime example as to why having random gangs attacking you in the game is just a stupid mechanic. And it should be removed. Like, that, that is that is proof in the pudding right there. Like, just, just get rid of it, man. All it does is make missions randomly fail for no good reason. Like, who, who likes that mechanic? Be, be real. Fuck. Wait, maybe I can, like... I don't think I can get back up now. No, I could have maybe stole Mega Jump from, like, the... Even in the original, the gangs don't attack you during this mission. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually true. Yeah. Yeah, th there is a flag in the original that basically says, yeah, don't attack, because it's just unfair. But I guess that just doesn't exist in this. So what do I even do? I guess I'm just going to go down, drive here, hope I don't get shot, and just try and get to the tunnels. It's like the only way. But yeah, like, there's just so many people that can shoot me. Like, both fucking gangs are coming at me. Like, and they just keep spawning. And I'm just gonna drop myself down here. I'm already dead. I'll give this, like, a few more goes and then I'll just move on. Because, yeah. This is just... Just stupid. Okay. Progress. Now it's the St. Mark's. But if I get hit once by a Mafia dude, I'm done. If I even get there. And I haven't got a lot of time, so I can't, like, I can't piss about, you know. Yep, nice one, guys. Thanks. Like, I don't have time to deal with cops being on fire blocking my way. Really no time for that. That's the Staunton, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Bounce off the bumper. So I've just got to go up and around and just pray to God. I'm pretty sure... The timer stops when I get inside, but <laughs> nothing I can do about that. I'll give it one more go. Cause I, but like, if if that amount of gang members spawn, I'm just done. One hundred percent done. Like they're not even aggro to me by default. They're only aggro to me on that mission. Like that's so fucked up. Whoops. Uh. Yeah, unlucky. <laughs> okay, one more time. I'm too good at mega jumps now, apparently. Fuck. I soft locked myself. Okay, let's just stop going for that mega jump. Yeah, this isn't happening. Unless this one might be a write off. I mean, it's definitely doable, I think. 
but it just requires a lot of good luck. But I'll definitely give it some more tries later. Um, oh, I need to be up. I can just go to the Tunnel, actually. Back to Staunton. And we'll go and do Decoy, which is apparently terrible. So. Oh, I think I remember the change in Decoy now. I'm pretty sure there's a trip skip, right? Because it was annoying having to drive, like, all the way to the... All the way to Shoreside every single time you wanted to start the mission. Because you start the mission, then you have to drive to Shoreside. I feel like I remember that now. We'll give it a try. A lesson in business, my friend. If you have a unique commodity, the world and his wife will try to wrestle it from your grasp, even if they have little understanding as to its true value. Yeah, that's crazy, Donald, anyway. Later that day. Alright. What's the plan? Lead the cops away from Shoreside and nowhere near Love's office. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I see. <laughs> so, to those who don't know, um, in the original, you get six stars as soon as you get in the van. But it's not actual six stars. It's like a customized six stars. You don't get tanks and stuff after you. But this is, this is real six stars. But if I can just get to the airport, I feel like I should be mostly fine. Because cause there are places I could hide out. For sure. <laughs> Brief is important here too. It just said nowhere near Love's oh, office, right? Oh, away from Shoreside Vale. Okay. So I've got to go into Staunton. God damn. Well, there's another tank. All right, uh, across the bridge we go, I guess. Where can I hardest hide in Staunton? Is my next question. Oh God. Hey guys. Oh God, please don't go up now, bridge. Okay, it's coming down, thank God. I was gonna say that'd be so fucking bad. The tank is somehow faster than me. What the fuck? The tank is so quick. Oh my god. I thought I could just outrun them, but... Holy shit. Uh... Tunnels? A tank can't fit in the tunnels, right? Surely? That might be my better option. Didn't it also say away from Donald's love? Yeah, but... That's an al also another problem. Like, what does that mean? Away from Donald Love's office. Does that mean nowhere in Staunton? Or does that mean, like, nowhere south of Staunton? Like, that's, that's very vague. Okay, good to know that a tank spawns there every time. Let's try and get over to the tunnels, if I can. I'm dead again. What the fuck am I even supposed to do? Like, the tanks are just faster than me, so if one of them spawns behind me, they just run me down. There's nothing I can do. They won't follow you onto grass unless they're already on your ass. Okay, that's good to know. I'll, uh... I'll try and get onto grass. Although I don't know if there's much grass near me. To be honest. I guess I could plan it out now. Like, up here? But there isn't really a lot there. Can I blow these up prematurely? Does that do anything? Does that change anything? Probably not, right? There is a fairly consistent route you can take. Fairly consistent, you say. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm just getting pushed off now. I tried to go across to the grass, and now I just can't move. Yeah, I'm just getting shot to shit by the, uh, the helis. I, I can't move. I have no control over my vehicle. Good start. Lose 80% of my health in the first 30 seconds. Nice. Let's try that again, shall we? So stay on the grass. Stay near the grass. Always near the grass. Okay, can't really stay on the grass here. Ow. Ow. Okay. I mean, I'm basically dead here, let's be real. Maybe I can get to the tunnel. Jesus. Tunnel? With any luck? Took a bit of damage, but worth it, I'd say. Okay. Going to first person so I can actually see what I'm doing. So all I need to do is just get to the Portland Tunnel and then just chill, I think. I'm just going to slowly drive. They followed me all the way in here. Yep. Not a lot I can do about that. Like, that would have worked if that tank didn't just follow me perfectly all the way through the fucking tunnels. Like, I feel like if I do that another ten times, I might get away with it once, you know? What about jumping on the ramp and driving towards the tunnel entrance next to the airport? Friend. What ramp are you referring to? Like this, you mean? And driving off towards the airport? I mean, yeah, there's a, it's not a bad idea. There's quite a lot of, um, what's it called there? There's quite a lot of grass. Oh, no tank. Okay. Every other time there's been a tank there. I just ramped over two of them. Uh, I'm dead. All I can do when one's behind me is just hope to uh, get into a tunnel and just pray that I'm good. Okay, let's try and go in. I don't know if it's best to be in oncoming lane or not. I have no idea. Probably not a good idea, but... Oh. Hello, tank. Yeah. Yeah, I need to be in the other lane, I think. Because I'm not going to be able to get through anything and I'm just going to get shunted into oncoming traffic over and over again. And if an oncoming traffic is a cop or something, then I'm just going to hit it over and over and then just die. So yeah, other way. Not a bad strategy, though. Go through the grass onto the road in front of the airport on the grass patch there and go into the subway tracks. Trying to think of what you mean. So like this bit of the grass, or? Or do you mean on the other side? Oh wait, I think I know what you mean. You mean go here, stay on the grass, and then go up the stairs into the subway? Like up here? Yeah, 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 okay. That's a great idea. And then just drive across to Portland, I guess. Yeah, I don't think anything could follow me there. It's the most obvious safe route. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking of that too. I was just trying to get, you know, more audience engagement. I'd already figured it out. It's so obvious. I was just pretending to not have an answer. Ah! <clears throat> anyway, guys. This is, this is the attempt right here. I still feel like maybe it's too much. So in my opinion, Rob, this is mostly fine. Because yeah, like if you know what you're doing, you can figure out a thing really quick. What I don't get is the tanks being faster than you. 
Like, they already one-shot you. If they're faster than you and they choose to kill you, there's nothing you can do about it. That's my issue. I feel like if the tanks were just regular speed, this would be fine. But yeah, the super speed tanks that can just run you down from across the map, that's kind of broken. Because yeah, they're, they're pretty ridiculous. Alright, straight onto the grass, no messing about. Huge skid, look at this. Hello, tanks. Jesus. Fuck. No! No! Stay on the grass. Whew! Okay. Stay on the grass. Now up the stairs. Uh. Okay, then where? This way? Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. There we go. And then this way. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now which way? Which way? Which way is to Portland? Or does it just go all the way around? Let's just go south. Uh, why am I forced into cinematic camera? I don't want to use cinematic camera. Ah! Let's just go around and see. East is good. East is where I want to be. Man, this is kind of freaky. Fuck! No, don't flip me! Are you serious? Awesome. It's so hard to fit through those gaps on a corner when you have no camera to use. Like, first person is the only one, but even then it's like so close up. It's like impossible to do anything. But yeah, the whole thing about cops not aggroing you when you're on the grass, I did know that because I've abused that in Titan Vice during the job, I remember. I abused that. But, you know, sometimes you just don't think about stuff, even though, like, you know it, until somebody says it, and then you're like, oh, yeah, of course. Sounds like Cope, but, yeah, that's, that's... I did already know that one. I promise. All units be on lookout for security time, time to the area. Suspected armed and dangerous. Really, man? Oh, my fucking God. Can I just have my wheels on the ground? Is that so much to ask for? All units be on lookout for secure time, time to the area. Suspected armed and dangerous. Wicked. Alright, time for the sickest drift you've ever seen again. Never mind, that wasn't nearly as cool. Hello! Oh, these guys might already be- Oh, they're killing each other! Easy. Oh god, not easy. It's coming up with me. Oh! I have a stupid question, why grass? So if you're on the grass, uh, the police don't like aggro and come at you unless they're already like triggered to do so. So if you're on the grass and a tank spots you and start driving towards you, they don't come onto the grass. So you're pretty much like untouchable for the most part. Brilliant, I'm stuck. Brilliant, and this guy is blocking my only way out because I can't turn off. Move, you clown. Thank you. Right. Yeah, for some reason they don't follow you on the grass. Like, most of the time. Good. First person camera again. We're good, I think. Just gotta not flip on a fucking train again. Okay. Let's go. 
So stick to the left as much as you can. And I'll just go slow. I've got time. Alright, just got to get to Portland now. Easiest mission of my life. Never any doubt. Alright, so if, if I chill here, I should be fine. Like, just chill here. Nice. Now the only problem is we're all the way back at fucking Portland. <laughs> And in a really bad location, no less. You are risky. Yeah, with six stars still. Uh, definitely time to load the auto safe. There we go. Alright. Now let's try and get out of here in one piece without getting blown up by, uh, what's it called? The guys. Just hit the metro? True! Nate, you are so incredibly intelligent. We can just wait for a train. Huge. Absolutely huge. I forgot this even existed. I forgot this was even a thing. Can I skip this? No. Bro, hurry up. This takes forever. I could have walked back. I thought this would be way faster. <laughs> Hurry up, dude. Oh my god. There we go. Where am I now? This is Staunton, right? Okay, this is good, because I need to do Love's Disappearance. I need to get off. Cool. This person to go as a mission that really benefits from copyrighted music. I'm sad you won't get to experience it, but what can you do? Yeah, so... So, this is the thing, right? So, a solution could be that I, like... Start the mission with the music enabled and like react to it or whatever. And then just like redo it again with the music disabled for like, you know, actually progressing for YouTube and stuff and just cut th that bit out of the stream bot. But then, you know, then people who are watching from YouTube won't actually get to see my reaction to the mission, you know? So it doesn't really work. And obviously, like, there's no easy way to, like, edit out the music later. It's just, like, not really possible. Without completely butchering the audio. So. I assume this is just another mission again. A cutscene. This isn't an actual mission. Yeah. Alright, that's everything, I think. I guess bait is the next one. The good thing is this hole in it. Otherwise, I'd be screwed in terms of getting around this. All right, does this tell me anything? No. False fog, good. All right, what's the difference for these guys? If anything. Uh, we can be safe and just load them one at a time. It's the quote unquote intended way of doing it. This guy's taking forever. Hurry up. Watch you cry, guy. All right, lads. again, of course I did. The guy in the blister's going mental, look at him, you know. Oh my god, that taxi in the background. Absolute nutters. I love it. Right, I'll just go straight in, because these guys are way quicker at finding me out. Lost a couple of guys, but 
Not too bad. I'll see if I can switch my car to one with wheels. Would be nice. Slow this guy down a bit, otherwise I'm going to get fucked up the second I drive in. Nice. I have no idea what, what was different about that, but that was pretty easy. It felt very similar apart from the fog. Very similar to the original. I think some of the guys... Yeah, the Colombians... I think a couple of them had, like, better guns, maybe, even. Alright, E2G time, fun. I imagine this is probably going to come in useful here. Double shot espresso. Uh. Cruise Liberty's districts to find espresso to go stalls. After you trash the first stall, you have just over seven minutes before the cartel won their pushes. Okay. Are they in the same place or in different places? Oh. Okay, this is in the same place. Uh, I've got 30 rockets. Might as well use them. The caffeinated spank is airborne and you've inhaled it. Oh shit. The game's playing in fast motion. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, they're all in the same locations, which is good. Because I know the locations. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh. Quick. Ugh. Go! Go, go, go! Mission is now harder and all takes less, also takes less time. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. Yeah, because it doesn't take as long. That's really smart. You're a genius! Wait, is that one not there? It's usually in here, no? Oh, one of them has been moved. Bastard. So I need to find this last one. Just imagine you can hear gas, gas, gas. Okay, I got it. Alright, it's all the way up here, okay. Liberty Campus. Alright. Three stars, brilliant. Uh, where do we go first? Portland? I haven't got time to pay and spray. No time. Let's go. Portland. Alright. This one has been moved. Is the one up here still there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Tire pops, brilliant. More tire pops, brilliant. Okay, it's in here. Okay. Right, to shore side, let's go. Pop tires, but we're doing okay. Actually, maybe I should pay and spray. I don't know, I'm just gonna go. Like, the cops on this kind of, like, double speed are, like, impossible to dodge. So you just gotta, like, ram into them and hope you don't get fucked up too much. But yeah, the pop tires are really bad, too. Just adds a ton of randomness to it for no reason, which I really don't like. Okay, airport. I've got, like, 15 seconds. I don't have enough time, sadly. But now I know where the rest of them are, so can figure it out next time. So this one is not near the airport, I don't think. I know it is. It's still there. I don't know where the last one is, though. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and find that one in Shoreside first. Because the timer doesn't start until you blow up the first one, right? And that's the only one I need to find out where it is. Yeah. Oh, it looks to be in the same place, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. Only two of them have been moved, which is weird. <laughs> Alright, well, we might as well try and do it backwards. It's just the same route. Why not? Let's go. There's got to be something else to it. I mean, 
looks pretty self-explanatory to me. All right, we'll go across to Staunton. Next. Want to end in Portland? This is bad. Shit bridge cycle, but yeah, it goes fast because of double shot espressos. Risk. Oh, uh! huge. Huge time save. The rest are all in the normal places. Alright. Uh, straight to Portland. Let's go. This one I'm just going to run over and not stick too close to. Because, yeah, three stars plus Yakuta guys is scary. Okay, are we good? Nice. Let's go. And we can just pain spray right here. Only two more main missions to go. How exciting. Yeah. Boom. 30 seconds. Find the boat and get to the marker. 30 seconds. Bro. Am I supposed to just fucking teleport there or what? Plane is on its final approach. What? I don't have any time. What does this say? The plane is earlier than my tip off said. Move your ass. Yeah, I'm trying. Where is the plane even going to? Oh, fuck. Uh, this is not good. Uh, go! Go, 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 go! Where's the plane? I can't see the plane. Okay, I'm- I'm- I'm over here. The plane's taking forever. Why is there a 30 second timer if it takes like another two minutes after that? How about the marker, boys? Where's the plane? The plane's there. I'm cracked. I'm so cracked. Easy. Six stars. Fuck. Huh. huh. Do I do the toughen strat and just crash land into the pain spray? Do you think that's the schmoo? Yeah, I think that's the move, honestly. Are these guys still here? Do they attack me? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, they're still here. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you fucking stop shooting me? What have I done to you? They keep just spouting the same line over again. Have you read the manual for this thing? Yeah, Claude's such a fucking giga chad on ironically just sprinting with the rocket launcher. What a guy. Alright, let's please save. All right. All right, let's just let's just fucking send it. Let's just try and crash land into the uh, the pain spray. I'm pretty sure I remember where I'm going. If not, then uh, <laughs> woo, this will be fun. Jesus! Oh fuck! No, not the tanks again! No! 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 Oh my god! Don't you fucking dare. Oh. <gasps> There's another one. Oh fuck, this one's coming to kill me, I think. Okay, no, we're, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let's go. 
Steal the tank. I don't know if the tank is even useful to me. No, fuck this. The plane is real. Is the plane? The plane is so much cooler. Let's do this. Dude, where is my fucking speed? Never mind. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Alright, second try. Let's go. Let's go. Up here. Straight into the pain spray. No messing about. Boom. Get out! Pl Claude, please get out. No, I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm good. I'm good. Easy. If there are M16 guys waiting for me at the construction site, Rob, I'm going to find your address, I swear to God. Don't you fucking dare. Please. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. I need to watch this cutscene. I've got your precious Maria. If you don't want her to, f what, want her face to look like she fell out with the butcher, being 500k to the villa at Cedar Grove. Oh, is it not this cutscene? I thought this cutscene was modified. That's normal. I got scammed. Maybe it's the next one. All right, done. Easy. Huge. It's the fact that Miguel isn't here. Isn't that girly Bob is? Oh, I didn't even look. I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> Oops. We'll, we'll do that one. Then we'll do the red phone missions. We'll finish Rick to Blow and stuff. And then... That'll be everything, I think. Alright, so yeah. Next time will hopefully be the final thrice stream. Uh, I didn't expect to get through it in like four streams, but here we are. I will see you all very soon in the next couple of days, whenever this is fixed. And we'll finish it off. I'll see you all soon. So, little update for you. So, number one, uh, this is the newest patch. So, a couple of things have been fixed. Hopefully, that means that I can actually complete all the missions. Number two, um, what else? I've completely forgotten. Pfft. Never mind, there's nothing else. There were three things and I've forgotten the other two, so that's not very good going. I remember the third thing. The third thing is that the chat down below, I'm using a different like service to show it. So now it will show emotes no matter where they're from instead of plain text, hopefully. That's probably why it looks a bit different if you're wondering, but it should look mostly fine. Uh, oh yeah, the second one, I'm doing it in a bit of a weird order. First point, third point, second point was that um, I went and completed all of the RC missions. Um, on my save, just off stream. Because then it will mean that when we've actually completed the playthrough, it will show in the stats that we've done every mission, right? Oh, it didn't show. Fuck, it broke. Ugh. It was working, I swear down. Whatever. So yeah, I, I did all the missions that haven't been edited. So the RC missions haven't been changed. So that's why I didn't do them on stream because they're just two minutes of waiting around. Um... Also, while doing that, it made me realize that I've completely missed a mission in Portland, which is kind of embarrassing. Luckily, you can do it at any time. It's not one of the ones that you get locked out of. But I just never completed Big and Vainy, which is the final blue payphone mission. So first things first, we're going to go and do that. <laughs> and then we'll complete uh, the green phone missions, because I think they've been fixed, to my knowledge, um, on this new patch in Staunton. And then we'll go and complete the red phone missions um, in Shoreside. And then we'll finish the last mission. Sound good? Sound good. Good. Perfect. All right, so yeah, I have no idea what Big and Vainy is. How different it is or anything. So we'll find it out together. Whoops. Yeah, I thought this was the Turismo marker. But it isn't. It's just big and veiny. 
which is a little embarrassing. All right. Okay, all looks normal. 25 seconds. Leave any mags lying about on the streets not, may not be good for Elbura. Okay, so I, I can't leave any behind. Okay. Just gotta collect them all. Easy. Which way? Which way? This way. Ow. Oh, doing this in Portland with shotgun guys is probably a fucking terrible idea. Ah, oh, shit. I might need to- oh, no, I can't even use the Patriot for this, can I? Fuck. Okay, this might take a few tries. Because if I get railed by shotguns, I'm just dead. This may have been a huge mistake. We'll see. Because you're going to St. Mark several times. Yeah. We might have to roll a couple of die and uh, roll. A, what do you what do you got? What do you geeks call it? Like a double six or something? Some shit in uh, D and D. Which way now? This way. We seem to be taking the punishment in the car pretty well. I don't even think it's smoking. It might even be bulletproof. Fuck, I missed one. No. Shit, that's really bad. That loses me like 10 seconds on the timer. All right, we need to speed up. But we're almost there, we're at the docks. We're not doing very good on time. I might fail because I missed that one, which would be very fucking sad. Or am I good? We'll see. I think we're good. Nice. Which fan? Oh, this one. Are you serious? Wow. After all of that, I bonk a fucking lamppost and fail. Well, time to do that whole mission again, guys. Are you excited? I am. I wonder if that's like a scripted change or if I really was just... It was that unfortunate that... I just happen to be on 1 HP. Or is or is the van on 1 HP the second you kill the guy? I bet it's scripted. It might be, but I don't know. That would be pretty fucking unlucky if it wasn't. Because it took so much damage and I bonked the tiniest bit. And if the car... That might be like a really big problem because if the car is just on low health and I have to get it all the way up to St. Mark's again, I might just get fucking wrecked by, uh, you know, people shooting me. In the original, is this van like anything proof? Like, is it like bulletproof or... Because this feels bulletproof. Oh, well, never mind. No, it isn't. How did I get take so much damage and survive before? I ate like two shotgun blasts. Did I just get lucky? And now I'm just screwed on that one attempt. I'm gonna say it again, Rob. This is all the more reason to disable gangs. All the more reason. Because you would never have this problem if you just disabled the aggro gangs. Like it just causes so many issues admissions 
I'll try and like drive by as many as I can. Usually what you can do is you can um, drive on the pavement, which then you can like run them over if they're about to shoot you. But I can't do that in this because I need to also pick up the packages. It's like this guy I have to just deal with. Yeah, there's like nothing I can do. It's always on the same corner. There's nothing I can do. Even if I make it through that corner, then I'm just fucked. Like, because I'm just going to get shot eventually again anyway. Yeah. I I I'll give this a few more tries and then I'll have to just leave it. Because, yeah, this mission is also basically impossible. Like, some of them I can kill like that if they have their back turned, but... Again, it's just luck. Whether they do or they don't. If they're facing me, they attack me way before. But I, who knows? Maybe I can get a miracle now and just luck out. Do you have to pick up all the packages? Yeah, seemingly so. There was like a hint about it that implies that I would fail if I didn't. Otherwise, I could just literally mega jump to the end. But I can only assume it doesn't work. Where am I supposed to be going now? This way? Yeah. I always forget the route. Because I never do this mission the normal way. Okay, so... Now the question is... Is how do I... Get to the end place... Without getting shot? Like, how, how do I avoid... How do I avoid getting dumpstered? Because XSX Magazines is in St. Mark's, isn't it? So I can't, like, go around it. I'm forced to go there, I'm pretty sure. Behind the hospital. Like this way. But then once we're here, like, all we can do is just pray to God. Are we good? If it fails me for bringing, it, bringing them there with two stars, I'm going to be so pissed off. Please just pass the mission. Thank fucking god. Nice, dude. Alright, we're, we're officially done with Portland. Okay, let's get to... Um, let's get to Staunton, and let's get these... Uh, actually, we should go north, because King Courtney is all the way up north, so there's no point in going all the way down south just to come back up again. Uh, which one are we going this way? Excuse me? I said, excuse me. Uh, oh. So here's a point. Um, I'm going to be doing Gankar Roundup right after Uzi Rider. So, assuming that they want the same cars, which I assume they do, um, I'm going to need to come to Portland and back to grab a Diablo Stallion and a Mafia Sentinel. So while I'm here, I might as well grab at least one of them and store it. Can I drive forward, please, guys? Oh my fucking god. Bro, let me move. These guys are fucking cracked. But yeah, so I, I want to store this. I'd grab the other one if I were you. Fine. Why, is the Diablo one not required? And I was just about to waste a ton of my time. Or is it because during the mission, like, the Mafia Sentinel is, like, impossible to get? Trying to save you some time? Okay, appreciated. Oh, that- I was lucky that guy didn't fucking shoot me. 
Because I'm pretty sure if it did, I was dead. Yeah, speaking of being dead. Look at all these shotgun guys. Oh my god. What a joke. How do I have fucking three stars from that? I only just got two. I kill one gang member and I get three stars. Like, I'm not even on a mission. Like, the fucking cop's code has to be fucked. That is impossible on vanilla. Absolutely impossible. Now I'm going to have to drive through fucking St. Mark's to pain spray. Risk getting blown up again. Actually, I can keep all my weapons because I have that auto save. So I can just run back to thingy. Like, I can't even stop to fucking get these things because... Yeah, like I'm just getting fucking roasted. Like, how is this fun? I don't understand why this is still in the mod. Can't you exit Salvatore's mansion through the place you start the Dodo challenge? Uh, maybe. You mean like go down here and then over that way? Yeah, I mean, I guess. I just need to get around the fencing here though, don't I? Oh, well. Yeah, that's what I get for trying to do that. Should have planned out a route first. Oh, you can just drive straight down this hill. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought I would have to go around Eight Ball's place. Luckily, there's a second car. Let's try not to flip this one. Just go nice and slow. Oh, dude. This song by David Bowie... I just got like mad fucking PTSD because when I had no internet for three weeks when I moved in here, I had to be on the phone to my ISP for like fucking hours at a time because they had like really long queue times. Um, and this song would just play over and over again in the, uh, on like the, the hold. And like, it's a fine song, but listening to it for like five hours a day straight on a really shitty like phone quality transmission it completely ruined the song for me why do i need a sentinel for gang car roundup it's the mission after the one that i'm about to do you need to steal one of every uh gang vehicle so it makes sense to grab the ones from portland before the mission because it saves me going back there during the mission and i was going to grab the diablo stallion but apparently you don't need it so <clears throat> Instead, let's do Uzi Rider, which is apparently now fixed. Because, yeah, they use a new car. They use the Cartel Cruiser for some reason. I guess it makes sense, because I'm pretty sure the Cartel Cruiser is uh, armored, so its tires are poppable. And a trip skip. Wow. Huge. Yeah, so now I shouldn't soft lock. Hopefully. I'll probably still need to. Uh, what's the word? Like pain spray and stuff? Because obviously I'm still taking damage, but. He wants some rival gun cars to disguise his men. I mean, yeah, sure, but then why not use a Diablo car? Because the Diablo cars can get his tires popped. That's why. Also, I like the fact that those Diablos flip themselves and it counted towards my progress. That's very cool. Let's go and pain spray again, just to say. Hey, look, I didn't soft lock. Yeah, this is the mission that I did with the perennial a few streams back. And it was impossible. Because even if I got lucky enough to not just get instantly killed and have all my tires popped, as soon as I got to this part of the objective, my uh my all my wheels would just lock up. So it wouldn't be possible to beat. Real shooter. Alright, 
Alright, let's go and whack this right next to, uh... Right next to the phone, so we can start the mission. Now we have a save there as well. Goldilocks and the three gangs. <laughs> The special Golden Diablo Inferno should be cruising around Hepburn Heights. Oh, okay. So we need to go to Portland anyway. Do we have to do them in a certain order? Or is it just this one? Is it just this one that we have to go and collect? Hmm. Uh, let's go and go to the tunnels. Be a bit faster than the bridge. This is interesting. A golden Diablo car. Alright, let's see what this guy's doing. Cruising around. Oh, he's zooming! Come back here, you little rat. Bastard. I tried to block him into the corner. Come back! Don't drive into St. Mark's, please. Ugh. Turn. Yes. Yeah, fuck you. See ya. No, no, shotgun me, please. Oh. I'm getting shotgunned. There's so many fucking mafia guys here. Fuck. Um, oh shit. I need to be up there. I'll go this way. Are we good? We're good. I think. I could be on 1 HP. I have no idea. Watch out now. The cops are on high alert. Okay. Why are these guys aggroed onto me? They were just talking about how much they liked me like two seconds ago. And if I fucking attack them, I'm gonna get like three stars because this mod's fucked. All right. And now we need a Lobo and a Stinger as well. Uh, let's go and get the fixed Stinger. I don't think there's a fixed, um... I don't think there's a fixed Lobo spawn actually, but I don't need one. Just one more no giant arrow showing you where to go. Wait, do you not need a Lobo? It didn't say take it to the garage. I thought you did. Apparently not. Oh, yeah, why would the Yardies need a fucking Yardie? <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb. Ignore me. That's a great point, guys. You guys, you're so right. Wait, hold on. So, the, the, the Yardies want these in, like, mint condition. But the, uh, the, the what's it called? The, the, Diab the Golden Diablo card that I, that I delivered... That was like trashed. Like I, I completely trashed that car and they don't care. Hmm, interesting. Would you like me to force more pay and spray visits? No, absolutely not. But it should be consistent. They should either care or not care, you know. So if I would choose, I would just make it so who gives a shit what condition the car's in for all of them. Personally. No pleasing some people. <laughs> true. Tr actually true. <laughs> true. Always got a problem, me. Alright. So next should be final Staunton mission. Then we're completely done with these two islands. Thank fucking god. But Kingdom Come is usually pretty difficult in vanilla. So let's, let's see what's different here. This mission is kind of scary. We've only got a minute to get down there. Goddamn. 
it's not a short drive by any means. It's all the way at the other side of the fucking island. Uh, yeah. I always forget exactly where this turning is. I'm gonna try and save this if possible by parking it like out of the way, but I probably won't be able to. Uh, rockets? M16 was probably better actually. <laughs> Come to daddy! <laughs> Fun fact to uh, anyone who doesn't know, these guys used to be called like spanked up fucking suicide bombers or something. But uh, then 9 11 happened. They have guns. What the fuck? The cars are bulletproof. That's not fair. Ah! How am I supposed to blow these fuckers up? What am I supposed to do? Destroy the vans. I'm trying. Are they explosion proof? Ah! Hold on. Hold on. Okay, they're not they're they're bulletproof, but they're not explosion proof. Ah! Oh, they just have like mega health, I think. Cause they fucking survived that. Jesus. Oh my god. Die. This one's explosion proof. What the fuck? What? Why are they there? That was like my one place of refuge. How do I blow that red van up? Is that explosion proof but not bulletproof? Like, do I have to use like different, um different methods to destroy certain vans. Yeah, maybe it just has mega health, but I don't know. Sink it? Can you imagine if I have to like drive it into the ocean or something? That'd be funny. But I, I, I can only assume the vans are locked, right? Surely. It's just like chaos the mission. I really should have got some armor, but oh well. If, if I fail again, I'll load the save and get armor. Yeah, I should definitely destroy one of the vans first before I get into the thing. Is this the van that you blow up? I guess so, right? Okay. It's actually an armor pickup very close. I don't know of any armor pickup if it's nearby. I know there's the health in the garage below, but... <laughs> no armor. There's usually armor where the M16 spawn is, but that doesn't exist in this, so. Blow up! What the f Look, look at that! Oh, I did, I did it! I flipped it to death. Let's go! This is huge. Please don't kill me. Did I not blow that one up? Oh, it's miles away. Okay, that one's done as well, I think. Yeah. Oh my God, look at me. Huge. I'm like, uh, what's his name? I'm like fucking Paulie from, uh, from Thug 2. <laughs> Let's go. There's still a guy somewhere. Do you reckon he'll blow me up if I go over there? I can't get up to him, I don't think. Let's find out. Oh, he despawned. Rip. No mind. He also had Muska Sucks written on it. Oh, he does. I didn't notice that. I I didn't think that that was a reference. I thought it was just like, it, it just happened to look like like him. That's brilliant. I mean, yeah, I knew that was a reference. Of course I knew. Obviously. Okay, let's get some health. And let's go and do a uh, rig to blow. By health, I mean armor. But you know what I mean. It's all health. Uh, Rob, question for you. before Since we're getting to like, the tail end of this playthrough. 
Are there any really cool Easter eggs that I haven't seen yet that you don't think I will see that you want me to like show off? Like, is there any really cool things like the, the parking space is like a really good example. Is there anything else you've put in here that I wouldn't know about? The, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 warehouse level is also a really good example. <clears throat> the Easter egg sign near Kingdom Come has new text. There's also a special sign on the shipwreck. I have no clue. Is there like a, a, a vanilla Easter egg there where Kingdom Come takes place? Nice stretch. There's an alley that usually has a sign saying you're not supposed to be able to get here. Oh, okay. No, I, I do remember that. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check them out then. Excuse me, Luigi. Can't pop it this way. Cool. Uh, we'll save, so we've got a save here. Right, the redemption arc. So uh, this mission was also fixed in the newest patch. Uh, very simple change, but should make it far less random. Uh, the car is immune to gang member bullets, I think. Yeah. So far less luck based. So now it's just don't crash it, which is you know very normal. Don't crash it, and you only have two minutes to get across the map, which is still pretty tough, but... Oh, fuck. Nice. We need to pay and spray the car, but we can do that. Ah, uh, actually, we may as well do it now. Okay, nice angry driver. We'll do it now to hopefully save having to do it in short side. And just in case we like blow up or something. Better safe than sorry. Because again, this mission only checks for like collision based damage um, to the car. It doesn't check for like car health or anything. So bullets won't make a difference. Even if they did, um, even if they did tank the health of the car. So we're good in that regard. Right, let's go. And of course, I run over someone and it fucking smashes the bumper. That's fine. We'll deal with it at shore side. It's whatever. To be fair, it was wishful thinking to think I would get through the tunnels without crashing anyway. Because there's always going to be some fucking lane switcher or some shit, you know? So, whatever. I know, the question is, where the hell is the pain spray in Shoreside? Uh, I know it's like up the hill somewhere. But I only have like very vague recollection. Because I never use it, ever. But we've got to get our pain spray in. Because obviously we love pain spraying, so. It's on one of these bits, I think. Like here, maybe on the right. Oh yeah, pain spray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm genius. Let's go. All right, now I've just got to not trash it on the way back to the parking space. Ugh. Fuck, <laughs> bro. I didn't even get out the pain spray before I fucking beefed it. Dearie me. Alright. No, dude. Dude. This is legit fucking hard. This car's wider than, than I think. I'm trying to be slow, and it's like actually making it harder somehow. Look how much traffic there is, dude. Move. Oh my god. I can't even like script it. Scrape it. All right, let me let me let me do the classic dickhead move. Edge out until they have no choice but to let me pull out. That works IRL too, by the way. 
That's how you, that's how you always get out if you're waiting to pull out onto a road. You slowly fucking edge out until they have no choice. You fucking twat. Why would you fucking sit there? There wasn't even a red light. He just fucking hit the brakes for no reason. Fuck's sake. No! Oh my fucking god. I cannot believe I'm going to have to do the whole fucking mission again because of that. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing with two stars. Fucking brilliant. Because of course there was two fucking cop spawns right there. Because why wouldn't there be, you know? Why not? I missed my turn. Off oh, so I'm sorry. Now how am I gonna get out? What the f What the fuck, dude? Move! No. What? What? What the fuck is that, man? <sighs> This is so stupid. I I cannot believe these fucking mission fails. I, I can't I cannot. I cannot. This isn't happening. It's not real. Time to just drive for a third time, guys. Aren't you excited? No, not again! How does this keep happening to me? What the fuck? How do you flip off of a fucking tree? Just hit it and stop. Oh my god. Dude. With the way people are... What the fuck? Claude. How do you not have enough room there? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm actually going to fucking punch my monitor, man. Just let me fucking drive. Get the fuck out of my way. Why is the entire fucking taxi rank coming to block me, man? Don't you fucking dare. Oh my god, when four of my wheels lift off the ground, I start fucking screaming. Alright. This is it. This is the one. 700th time just a charm. Ah! Don't you fucking dare. Whew. All right. We make it past this light, these lights, we've officially made progress. It's the furthest we've ever been. Oh, thank God. All right, we should just have two missions to go. How exciting. Rumble time. Hopefully this mission isn't a huge pain in the ass because I can only deal with so many pains in my ass at once. Oh, I've got to do bully and run first. Fuck, I forgot. Give me this, this fast. Head to the location where the cargo is scattered. You need to click 30 pieces. Maybe like the the thingy car would be really good for this. I don't know. Hey, One plus phone. Did you really know what phone I have? Because like you heard a notification go off. That's um, that's some major geek shit. I respect it. I had the exact same one. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't think you'd be able to hear it. Oh my god, how embarrassing. Um, sure, this is good enough, I guess. All right, we'll do like 10 at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10. 11, good enough. Wait, I, I only have like 10 seconds, what the fuck? What?
How? What the fuck? Did that- was that timer there the whole time? I legit like wasn't paying any attention. Please don't pop my tires. Yeah, it was. It's two minutes from us. Wait, it's two minutes from when you grab a car. And of course I instantly get my tires popped again. What a joke. This is so fucking annoying. I guess we need to do like the jump. Cause yeah, I don't have enough time otherwise. I could just run all the way to the thing. I could just run all the way to the to the location, but that would take so long. Let me see if you get any more time added by like handing some in. Because I needed to do this in several trips, really. Yeah, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god. Like, you're on such a strict time limit and you just get fucking wrecked by the cops. Just randomly spawning and fucking you over. Which one of these opens? This one. You don't get any extra time and you get four stars. It's so gross. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, I don't have enough time. It's over. Am I really gonna have to run all the fucking way there? But this is gonna take forever to run here. Because there's no easy way across. Unless I can, like, mega jump across. But I'm pretty sure I can't. Because I'm all the way at the bottom. If I was at the top, I'd be able to, like, mega jump across, maybe, but... And I'm just gonna take so much fucking damage from these random guys shooting me. Like, maybe I can, like, mega jump across here, but I'm pretty sure I'll die. Oh, that's way better, actually. Saves us, like, two minutes of running. Probably more. And now we just need to get up there. And just find a semi-decent car. It doesn't even need to be that good. Any sports car really would be fine. In fairness. This should be a good enough spawn. Also a very convenient car spawn nearby. You mean the Luigi Cup here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. Oh, these fucking cops, man. Why is there so many random elements in this mission? I just don't get it. How many are we on 16, I think? But even that took like almost half the time. And now I've got to do 14 more with four stars. Like. It's crazy, the difficulty here. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Joke. Literally get fucking rammed to death. What a joke. What a joke. Try. I actually look like Paulie when I'm driving. That's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Instantly busted. Okay, never mind. This is useless. 
because it has no doors. So it's it's the second I get a wanted level, I'm just fucked. Okay, cool. Um, uh, I, I'm out of ideas. I have no idea how to cheese this mission. Armored Patriot. I'll just push it all the way there. Like, I guess I'll drive it there first and hope it stays. Leave it like here. Mm, I definitely deserve these two stars. I'm so glad that random cop was there to fuck me over. But I couldn't leave him alive because it would have marked my fucking patriot to despawn. And now I've got to run all the way across and then all the way back. <sighs> I'm I'm lost. I, I genuinely don't have a solution for this. I have no idea how to complete this mission. I have absolutely no idea. I have no good strategies. Absolutely zero. The only thing I can think of is just try the, uh, try the what's it called again. Try the, um, thingy. Try the Luigi cart and just hope I get lucky and not instantly busted. But that isn't a good strategy. It's a terrible one because it involves luck, but I can't think of a good one. Cause just look at this, like, this whole place is so broken. It is impossible to fucking function in this part of the map. It's just ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 to be safe. And this still goes really fast. Wow. Look at that. That mission looks so easy when you get zero cop spawns. Uh, let's go and do a rumble. Whee. Oh, this would be really good. Okay, we got an auto save right here. No honor among thieves. Okay, let's take this. Why not? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Quick. Doing this with four stars is probably a terrible idea, but... It's either that or I reload and I don't have the armor, so I'm legit stuck on 10 HP. So I'm just gonna try and risk it. They use guns. And um, now there's just a million different cops here. Cool, well, this is fair. Yeah, there's nothing I can do if there's six to 600 cops. Ah, yeah. uh, spawning on 10 HP. Spawning on 10 HP with people shooting me. 
very fair. Again, random gangs. Get rid of them. Yeah, it counted the cops' kills as mine, which is also fucking bullshit. There's nothing I can do about that. Yo, I said trees coming. There are rules. Bad zones. No guns, no cars. This is a battle for mm, Are you gonna pick it up or? Let's go crack some skulls. <laughs> Alright, I need to go and heal. I don't have a choice. So I guess we're driving all the way to the hospital. So I got that pink car from a mission. It's in the warehouse. Next to the hospital. But you can also get it from a mission, yeah. Mm. Oh, he's dead. Do you not have to keep him with you? Fair enough. Can I get a car, please? Thanks. Really need armor for this mission, ideally. Need health and armor, but I have no idea where armor spawns in Shoreside. Isn't there one like opposite the pain spray, actually? Isn't that? Well, there usually is, but I don't know. It's not going to be there in this mod because all the pickups have been moved. Run over two pedestrians, two stars. Instantly get my shot, my tires shot. And now I'm going to have two stars for this fucking mission. There goes a third of my health. Hit one cop with a bat, three stars. It's honestly such a joke. Like... <laughs> it's such a fucking joke. Like, either every single mission has, like, a ten times chaos point multiplier for, for no reason, or there's a serious bug with the cops. Because the amount of times... That I get bullshit wanted levels in this is fucking crazy. And it just ruins the mission. Every single time. Do you want me to tell you where armor spawns? I mean, if you don't mind, if there's one in Shoreside. Because, yeah, otherwise I'm just going to be wasting so much fucking time. Oh, right, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I would never find this in a million years. Okay, let's try and keep it and get to the safe house. Good thing I have an armored car, otherwise I'd be 100% dead with those spawns, by the way. They were some gross spawns. Yep. Okay, I need to kill these guys first. Don't you fucking dare run them over. No! What the fuck? A fucking enforcer spawned? Like, are you serious? A fucking enforcer. The enforcer is there to be useful. I mean, I get it. Yeah, you can use it for armor, but... I didn't expect to go from, like, 110 health to, like, fucking 30 in a matter of seconds. Bad zone. Well, I get what you were going for. Oh, this guy fucking gets in the enforcer, I think. Nice, got two of them. Good. Good. Doesn't matter if I get thrown out. I think I'm good now. Look at that damage. 
It's fucking crazy damage. They did like half my health in one hit. All right, that should be 72 out of 73 missions. Yeah. All right, just the exchange to go. That's it. We'll go and heal and stuff again, I guess, because I'm going to need health for this. Yeah, last mission. Just got to do a bit of prep. I assume I lose my guns as usual, so I don't really care about those. Just want to heal and get some armor. I don't know if that armor spawn will be there again, so we might have to go to Staunton or something there. But we can check. I mean, 158 might be enough, but I can only assume that 200 is a, you know, a kind of good start to this. Alright, good. Alright, final showdown. Nervous? Not really. Toughened Exchange is the most disgusting mission I've ever played. I can't imagine this is going to be harder than that. Like, Toughened Exchange is so difficult. That, like, it is impossible to do without, like, abusing several mechanics. I don't think Rob would do this. Damn boss 2, well, deja vu. Okay, Let's watch the cutscene for posterity. Look at poor Claude. He's been through the runner ever since getting shot in the head. He can barely bend down to put the fucking briefcase down, but bless him. This changes the whole dynamic of the mission. The real question is, did you turn up to rescue Maria or to get me back? Well, I got news for you. Shooting you will be a pleasure, but dating you was only business. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. Throw over the cash. You have been a busy boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Kill the idiot. With the cast. With his broken arm. Sick. Alright, no insta-kill mechanics. Claude, what a fucking guy. Bash in that guy with the cast. Let's go. What have you got in store for me? I can only assume I'm still going for the dam. Yeah, it looks like it. No sniper by the looks of it. Yeah, no sniper. Huh. That was quite a bit of damage. Look at look at Claude with the one armed M16. What a boy. And there's no fucking health there. As if he fucking destroys me like that. Well, now I think I'm just fucked. Someone's gonna kill me, surely. Yeah, this is the first attempt. Alright. 
I'm not triggering Catalina somehow. Is there anything up here? No. I'm afraid. What what am I missing here? Well, I haven't got time to waste. Wait, there's no There's no fucking stairs. Oh my god, no way have I just been fucking baited. Can I boost up this? Fuck. I just got fucking done. A new door of opportunity. Up here? I swear I checked this. Fuck, it might be over there. I got baited. <sighs> Here? Oh no. I haven't got time to face these guys. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm 100% fucked. I'm so dead. There's just no way. Five seconds. There's just no way, right? Oh my god! I can't see a thing. I'm just gonna run. I've got 20 seconds. There's, there's no way. Get this thing airborne! Did I stop the timer? It's Miguel. Catalina must have rescued him and he's up to security. I've, I've, I've still, I'm still on a timer. Seven seconds. Yeah, it's over. No, there's no health. It was all removed. But I, the health wasn't the problem. Yeah, the fucking timer was the problem. But I need some M16 from these guys. Alright, let's go. Kill that guy just in case. Run. You want the chainsaw gringo? You big dog sticky boy. We got a 10E and central call crimp. You move big man. We got a 10 11 and central call crimp. We good? We're good. Okay. We're like a m two minutes faster or something. Fuck. That was dumb. And I got away with it. Just keep running. Alright. Get this thing airborne! <sighs> so we've got to kill Miguel now as well. That is a fucking bullshit spawn. My word. Hey, 
You're really gonna force me to take damage by jumping down? Brutal. There's armor there. And he fucking... He runs right there? What the fuck? That's crazy. How is there more? Oh, we're on the rooftop. Am I good? Shit, Maria isn't here. Does it matter? Am I good? No timer. Victory jump. 360! Oh, she's not- Wait, I thought I was in. It is! Oh. Yes, dude, let's go. Second try. That mission's fucking easy. The emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Hardest mission, my ass. It wasn't even close. That was one of the easiest missions in the game. As long as you don't play like an idiot. I love you. I, I really do, because you're such a big... Oh, let's go, Claude. Man, Crippled Claude. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I, mean, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged. That feels good. That feels gratifying. And, and I'm glad that the final again. mission yeah, was a proper, just like full on skill fest. Like, there was no randomness in there. Apart from that guy choosing to like stand right next to where I jumped. But, like, police are still finding bodies. Like, it was 99% just raw run and gun, pure aim, no bullshit. And still no leads as to the cause of Like, if you play smart, you'll pass that mission every time. Every mission done. Very nice. Wall crawler delivered to Staunton safe house. Wall crawler, you say? Let's see the, the outfits and stuff that we got. Suit, job two, electric boogaloo. Sticks and stones. Wasted opportunity. Red Yakuza suit, blue Yakuza suit. 1986 called. It's my favorite one. Up there, sleeveys. Plead the fifth. Love media rep. Give me liberty. It's so cool. I want the Tommy outfit. Give me the Tommy outfit. Yeah, we'll go and check uh, what the Staunton safe house thing is. Oh fuck, I went too far. All right, army uniform it is. And on the meantime, on the way there, um, I'll talk about, like, my feelings about the mod, because, you know, I'm sure you're all wondering what I think of it, you know, now I've properly finished it. So, do I think this mod is better than Titan Vice? No. Um, I, I don't think it is. I think, I think this mod is fine for what it is, but... It still needs a ton of work 
Um, there are still so many missions that, like, the the issue of like bringing in things like your tires can be popped and like the the random gang spawns weren't brought in, but like all those things factored together just makes for like a really not fun experience in a lot of places. Like the amount of times that I failed missions due to bullshit that was out of my control. Like I've never seen anything like it. Like GTA 3 is ridiculous enough as it is with the random car gang spawns. The fact that now the missions are way harder and you've also got to deal with those random spawns is just like to the point where it's not fun in my opinion. Um, like, Vice City doesn't have that issue because it's just not part of the game. So, it doesn't really matter. And, like, you notice your tires been popped and it being annoying in Vice City way less because you're not always being shot at when you're just driving around in Vice City. Whereas in GTA 3, you're always being shot by somebody when you're driving. So, it just becomes, like, a really shit experience. Oh, my God. Uh, let's make a save. Whoa, oh! Holy shit, this thing is fast. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Holy fuck. This is crazy. Does it actually climb walls? Ah, almost. It just... <laughs> This is fucking nuts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I the, the mod needs a lot more balancing. Like currently it is really unbalanced to the point where it is like not really that fun to play compared to Titan Vice. Like it's still worth playing, I would say. But yeah, like it's a lot less enjoyable. Um compared to Titan Vice, in my opinion. Purely because of, like, as I say, the compounding issues with, like, the gang spawns, the missions. Like, there's so much trial and error. There's so much, like, randomness. And it just becomes, like, really tiring a lot of the time. But, yeah. Like, it can definitely all be fixed. And, obviously, Rob is, like, you know, spending a lot of time um, you know, you know, his free time basically outside of work to work on patches and stuff. Like, you know, I, I started this on patch, like what, 1.45, I think. And we're now on patch 1.6. Like it's been actively worked on and Rob is very good with listening to the community, you know, like he doesn't just think he knows better than everyone and just, you know, sits in his little bubble and does whatever he thinks is fun. Like he does genuinely listen to people. So I definitely think that this has the potential to be really good, but it's just like not quite there yet. Like it still needs a lot of work doing, I think. Yeah, but it's definitely on the way. And, you know, if mod, if uh, Rob keeps putting out more mods, I will keep playing them. Simple as that, because they're good content and they're a lot of fun. And yeah, I hope to see you all for the whole Lost Media stream. It's going to be a really good time. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you later. Mwah.